before we begin, happy Valentine's, everyone! Hooray! Oh. I hope that you took care of someone special, even if that someone special was yourself, because don't forget, loving yourself is also very important. Gotta be careful with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going any further than that. So, when last we left our brave adventurers, our warlock Missouri had had an unfortunate encounter in the woods where some measure of his power was literally ripped out of his chest upon seeing that the power took the form of an ancient primordial entity Clovis lost all will to continue fighting and has seemed to find himself in a catatonic state Bosric, ever the warrior feeling his honor slighted by the vampiress Natasha the eldest of the two so the middle vampire, um, went and challenged her to a duel, which she seems to have accepted. So, brave adventurers, I will now bring you to the battle map. I will then play the battle music. Could everyone please drag your tokens to the lowest line of squares that you can see visible on the map? Bosric, could you bring yourself five squares higher than that? Ooh, Sweden has a new token. How do I change this? Um, you it's can... Too late. It is not too late. Um, you okay. can... Actually, Zier, if you wouldn't mind, you've done this more... More recently than me, could you walk Quedon through updating his token? Yes, let me pull up the file. Yes. But this will happen. Have you already tokenified the image? No, no. I'll, I'll have okay. to, uh, I'll have to is, tokenify. There's a website that I will shoot you now. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a new token, and then you can send me that token, and I will set it for you. Or you can do it yourself. It's up to you. Um, while we are doing that, um, does anyone feel like they will want to intervene in this fight? Or are you going to leave it to Bosric? Uh, um, I can't say whether Mez will or won't, so I'm going to roll for initiative. Okay. Those of you who are fine to sit this out, do not roll initiative. Those of you who want to, go ahead and give me an initiative roll. Bosric, that does include you. I just rewatched uh, the first, the the 20... Why uh, can I never roll in double Godzilla digits for initiative? Night? I will be letting them fight. <laughs> did mine Very even... Nice. Did mine even roll? Uh, yes. Your initiative was 25 and then 10. So you, I'm going to oh. take the 25 because that was your first roll. Yeah, I didn't see it pop up. Apologies. No worries. Um, unfortunately, you did not click on your token, so it didn't record it, so I will add you in now. Um, not a problem. So, Mez, I'm assuming that right now you are not interfering yet. At this time, I am not interfering. All right. Bosric, you have the first initiative. But she is sadly too far away. Yeah. I will just, um... I'll take a few steps up. Okay. If the darn thing will let me. There we go. No, it still won't let me do the thing. There we go. Okay. And go. Ladies first. All right. Is your sword coated with uh, stomach acid? It is. Okay. All right. Uh, she will smile and bow, and then she is also going to rush forward, and she is going to take her swings. She is going to start with a hook attack. Uh, 
Uh, that will miss, so she is going to try again. I think that will miss as well. 16? She needs a 20. Okay. Well, if she rolls higher than a 10, she might get that. Uh, that will be the end of her turn. Missouri. are you intervening yet? Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, start slowly um, walking forward a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to attack, but I'm just about right here. Yeah, okay. moves with me. Do I see right. this in the corner of my eye? Yes. I'm. Oh, I'm. No, I'm. I'll say I am in specifically moving where he cannot see. He. I don't want him to see me moving up. <laughs> you are in an open space. There's nowhere you can go where he won't see you. He's not looking at her. He's got the spatial awareness to know where you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you would see him. He's generally about um, about twenty feet away from you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a side I like. Hold. I got this. But with the understanding that butthold position, I might need you at some point. Um, if you're able to see him, he's almost fugue. He's almost kind of a fugue state. Well, there's not much I can do about that right now. There is not. All right. <laughs> uh, is that all? Um... Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty much it. He'll he's stopping there. All right. My turn. Mm -hmm. Fighting spirit. Okay. And I will <clears throat> under my breath, or not even under my breath, just in his head. He, he's n still not sure he believes this whole light show thing, but he still says, "Ancestors guide my blade." Okay. Are you activating your spore power then? I was not aware that I had to activate it. I I, I didn't. I, I don't. How does it work again? You decide if you want to use it, um, and you can do it three times a day. Then no, no. Okay. Just not not activating spore power. Just just saying it to kind of. Anyway, that is a. Twenty-six to hit. That will certainly hit. So eleven slashing damage, one handed. And a D six so cold? Yes. Two. Okay. Um, so the slashing damage goes through as you assumed it would, but then the cold damage hits and you hear a crackle and you see her skin hardens and covers in tiny ice crystals. And she smiles at you and she says, you naughty boy, you have brought more to the fight. And then as she licks her teeth, she says, good. Again. Nineteen crit. That'll do it. Yep. So that's no more ice damage, sadly. So what am I rolling? Um. So if you crit, then uh, you will. Oop. Sorry, hold on. I'm doing a couple things at the same time. Uh, damn it. All right. Queen, I'm going to let you deal with that. You seem to have figured it out. Uh, uh, go I ahead and roll. Are you using your sword one handed or two handed? One handed. All right. So then the maximum damage you can do one handed is. 14, so go ahead and roll a d8, and it is whatever you roll plus 14. Okay. 
Four. Okay, so 18 damage. Not bad. All right, she kind of reels from that, and she laughs. She says, this is good. I have not felt pain in so long. I'm going to enjoy this. Um, and then she is going to take you her swing at you. Uh, this time she does hit with a 20. Okay. Um, so that will be uh, five piercing damage. Okay, and, that um, takes rid of my and, 10 hit points. Uh, as she swings, you all see the hook dig into Bosric's shoulder, and she pulls him forward and uh, makes a bite attack on his neck. Which will also hit with a 24. Mm, no, actually, I don't think I want her to do that, so I will spend a luck point. Okay. So I still that? hit with a 24. No, I do. Well, I, I re roll it, yeah. Okay. Well, you were expending well, a luck die yeah. to make her re roll. All right, uh, you take uh, four piercing damage, and then she also drains six necrotic damage, which reduces your hit point maximum by six. And she will heal herself. So I take four? Yes. Uh, you take four piercing, six necrotic. Uh, your hit point maximum is reduced by six, and she heals six hit points. And just so everyone in the audience knows who has not fought vampires in D&D &D before, if the hit point maximum reaches zero because of this effect, Bosric will die with no saves. Not that that's going to happen, but if it does. Um, and that will be the end of her turn. Mez. Uh, I just saw her sink her teeth in. So I'm going to just... second I see that, just my head goes from being down to just snapping up and kind of turning to the side a little and shaking and I'm actually going to move even closer and I will uh, <clears throat> instead of taking inaction I'll take the, the dodge action as I just kind of sit there and shake a little okay sounds good um okay Then that will bring us to Bosric again. Um, I don't know if this is the best use of this, but I'm going to expend another use of Fighting Spirit. Okay. Sorry, I think... Um... Uh... 17? Uh, that will actually miss. Um, 24. And I will use my spore power this time. Okay. So that will not miss. That will hit. Um, so you will do an additional 2d6 radiant damage. Um, Bosric, what does it look like to the rest of your party as your orcish ancestors descend on your arm? Um, let's say this they were asking about his grandmother his grandmother is the one that manifests okay um so as he brings his sword up and says something in orcish amounting to you know like bloodsucker a, a derogatory vampire term his the image of his grandmother who wielded let's say a um a club a big spiked club as he throws her off and slices her. 
Uh, you okay? As you throw her off, her um, oh, 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 still stays attached. I just need I just need range to cut her. <laughs> okay. Uh, or I mean, unless you're like, you're fine with me stabbing her. That's fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So whatever your damage is, plus two d six. Regular damage. Yeah. All right. So ten slashing. Then 2d6 radiant. Four. All right, so 14 damage total. All right. She um, she kind of laughs and says, Well done. This is quite something. Okay. My internet is being a problem. Anyway, um, so that will be her turn um, she is going to um, make another bite attack at you or attempts to at least it does a 25 hit obviously it does but do you want to do anything about it is what I'm asking um Is this the only attack she's making? She makes two attacks. Yeah. Uh This isn't a crit, is it? No. Okay. Yeah, she did. <laughs> okay. Um, then you will take nine piercing damage, seven necrotic damage, and you reduce your hit point maximum by seven. And then, um, as she holds her teeth away, the black orcish blood leaking down her body, or her, uh, her body, goodness, her lips and her mouth, uh, she kind of pushes you back, and as she does, she takes the other hook and slashes it across your chest. Uh, she will miss with that attack. Um, and that will be the end of her turn. Mez? Um, what's the condition of the ground? Is it snow? Is it... What's on the ground right now? Um... It appears to be snow, but it is actually a thin coating of spores. Um, still just looking on, watching Bozrek take. How bad does Bozrek look at this point? Uh, I am at 42 of um, 58, but 58 has been reduced to um, 4. To f well, I don't think I know that your hit points were reduced as a whole. I just know how you look. Um, 42. So, yeah. So, you don't look too bad, uh, which is good. Um, I'm just going to keep watching, just like the eyes are wide, but um, slowly um, behind my back, the sensor is kind of riding down my leg and settles on the ground. What's normally your maximum hit points, Bosric? Uh, 58. Then you should be at 30 at the most. You've taken 28 damage. Okay, so I'm, something went wrong here. Okay, so... Yeah. The hit Wait. point maximum reduction, after you reduce the damage, you take the damage on top of that reduction. I thought he had temp hit points. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Okay. He does temp hit points. Um... You had five temporary hit points, right? Twice. Ten total. Because I did I did uh, Fighting Spirit twice. It can only ever have temporary hit points once. You don't get to stack temporary hit points. I didn't. You got rid of those temporary hit points. You took. I did five, you took uh, okay. five, and then I did five again. I see. Now I understand. Okay. For a that makes total more sense. Of ten, but five in each iteration. Now I understand. Okay. Cool. Just wanted to make sure we knew where we were at. So what's the I, actual I mean, hit point just, total? 
42. That sounds right. It is 40. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't trying <laughs> to, like, come after you, Boz. I was just making sure we were tracking things properly. Right, right. I, I was worried I'd, I'd screw yeah. something up. Well, no, I was worried that when I was telling you that the necrotic damage reduced your hit point maximum, you thought that didn't that didn't mean you also took the damage. So I thought it was on me. But anyway, glad we're clear that up. Okay, um, so it seems like he looks fine. He looks fine. Yeah. Then, then again, it would still stand that the sensor's slowly lowering to the ground, and I'm just kind of holding the chain and just watching, just kind of fumed okay. out. Okay. Bosric. Uh, I'll just do a normal attack. Okay. Uh, 24. That hits. 24. Jesus. bad all right and 21 uh that will also hit sorry 23 but it evens up uh the the number you are looking for is 18 hmm. all right nine uh she's starting to look a little rough Um, and she smiles at you and she says, good, good. And, uh, she is starting to look a little bit manic now. Like her, her head and her face have kind of like sunk in. Um, she's starting to look a little Angelina Jolie like she's got like really sharp cheekbones. Um, her, she's very sallow and her nose has reduced a little bit to sort of a gif Yankee look. Um, she's starting to look more and more monstrous. Um, but she's going to try to bite you. Uh, 22. Are you good with it? No. Okay. Left. All right. She will re-roll. That is a miss. So um, her sort of feral look makes her miss where your neck is vulnerable, and she hits uh, Gorget, and she just pulls back, still laughing as she swings the hook across your chest again. Uh, 22. That'll hit. All right. Uh, that will be eight piercing damage, as it just kind of dig you see it uh, dig into your chest, and she just rips it out. You know what? I would rather that than necrotic. Yeah, she's not reducing your hit points right now. So, um, you are doing very well in this fight, I will tell you. Just don't worry about that. Bosric would know he's doing well. Uh, Mez. Uh, no, I'm just... Well, actually, one more thing before you go. Um, you see, Bosric, that the ice crystals that have formed on her body have melted. They're still there a little bit, but this might be the last chance you have to do some real damage. Gotcha. Um, Go ahead, Mez. No, I well as I am unaware of that, um, and uh, he seems to be doing well. He's uh, I think I got you at thirty four now, so it's just she looks pretty bad. So I'm just gonna again just kind of letting a little bit of extra chain fall. I'm doing my best not to make any sounds of like ching ch like any chain anything that would draw her attention. And then I'm just going to uh, again I'll take the dodge action and just. Uh, Watch wide-eyed and stupid. All right, sounds good. Bosric. Well, because I'm not certain of anything, um, I will use my last fighting spirit. Okay. Sounds good. So that's five temporary hit points and advantage on your attacks, right? Yep. Awesome. Good move. 21. That'll do it. How bad is she looking? Uh, not bloodied yet, but close. All right, that is 10 damage. And how many spore power shots do I have left? I've used it. Uh, you've used one. You've got two more shots left. All right. 
Do I have to declare its use before I roll, or can I use it if I hit? I'm going to say it's like a smite. You can use it if you hit. Because because you're as limited as you are, I'm going to designate it as a smite. I think that sounds fair. Yeah. Hopefully uh -huh. the table agrees, but if they don't, I'm the DM. <laughs> that was a miss, so action surge. All right. I'm using up everything in this fight. I'm going to be useless, and she's going to kill us all. I mean, you're not the only party member. There are other people fighting. You're fighting a mid-boss one-on-one. You're doing fine. I, I will remind you, each one of these women was meant to be fought by the entire party. You're doing fine. Uh, 26. Hits. Uh, then I'll use my uh, spore power. Burn a spore power? All right. Sounds good. Especially because that roll was garbage. Okay. She's looking really rough now. Like, really rough. Nat 20. Yes! All right. Good stuff. So that is a minimum of 14 damage, which is her remaining hit points. So, Bosric, how do you kill Natasha? I'm going to actually grab her by the by the uh, the head, tilt her head back and say, was it you who took the who took Dimitri's sister? Um, she, she um, kind of just like she starts to laugh at blood, like your blood and her blood mixed together, start to leak down her face. She says, "No, that was my sister. She'll see you soon." Do it, samurai. And I will... So that her guts fall out. Um, as she falls, uh, she lets go of the... Um, the... hook, which is still embedded in your shoulder. And she sort of, like, gently grabs your hair so she doesn't fall all the way. And she looks up at you, and the monstrousness has fallen off of her face. And she um, sort of um, looks human for the first time, like even more human than she did in just her blonde form. And she just looks you in the eyes and says, Thank you, Bosnick Cup. And then she falls to the side. And As Boz the just... music ends, that couldn't have gone any more perfectly. Holy and Boz shit. actually literally slumps <laughs> down on his sword and just kind of... <laughs> what the fuck? Let's fucking go, baby! <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, he, he's, he lets go of the veneer of... He's just... <laughs> that was so fucking cool. I immediately um, rush forward. I will... I, being being closer, I'm actually going to move towards them first. And I'm um, While they're doing this, chat, I want to tell all of you. These are level six characters. That was a challenge rating six monster. That should not have happened. Bosric Cobb is a hero. <laughs> Dude. Um, what the hell? I don't I don't like that peek behind the curtain because <laughs> we've got that, that two other people pretty... to deal with and one of them is well, better than the other. Well we that don't have to worry too much. much. <laughs> Apparently Boz can take one out by himself. The, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I used up, uh, you know? I used up all of my fighting spirit, two of my <laughs> luck, two of my spore power, and my action surge. I am, I am not doing well. Tap down. And I'm down by, <laughs> but I'm you down know by... what? You know, I'm just gonna say, Bosric, take the win. That was awesome. And you yeah. know what? You won v one to mid boss, and you did it in character. Take an inspiration. Bosric. Inspiration. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> So, All right. Uh, now, I will. Uh, I will let Mez to respect the, the fact that he was in initiative order and I wasn't. I will let Mez do whatever he wants to do first, and then I want to okay. rush forward and heal him. Um, okay. I, I will just uh, relatively uh, move over. I don't know why the roll twenty is being stupid. Um, I'll just move over to Boz and just run my fingers, just kind of tap on his shoulder lightly, 
And I'll hit him for a uh, seven point healing hands. Okay. Uh, so you're going to gain seven hit points. And then um, I'm just going to uh, walk away with the remainder of my uh, my movement. <laughs> so that's, let me see, it took me about 20 to get over there. So I'll move back to here. And uh, uh, Mary's actually going to stay with Buzz. She just kind of sits on his shoulder. She watches you go, but she does kind of sit with him. She is the Tressum now. All right, Queen, you had something you wanted to do. I just want to rush up and just like, like, as as he is down on a lower level, just like take take now, the knee down with him. Admittedly, that that healing hands put me up to forty one. I can currently only go up to forty two. Okay, all right. So that's unless you, that's... unless you have like a lesser restoration that can uh, remove the damage or whatever whatever does that. I don't know. That. I I'm not a cleric, nor am I, I, I a don't... master. I don't think we have someone um, that can do that yet. You need greater restoration to that. heal vampiric corruption. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. I didn't. I thought. I thought you had taken more damage, than, or at least more damage that I could do something about. Um. I will just. I will just say what I was gonna say, which is. That was the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. The next time I get some hairbrained honorable orc idea in my head like that, punch me in my face. <laughs> Are you? You're not all right. But that was that was incredible. You, you, I, you're a hero. Um. With that, um, Mary, or yeah, Mary sort of looks up and then just pads off of Bosric and takes flight and glides over to Mez. Jesus. I mean, not Jesus. <laughs> Other religious expletive. <laughs> Zarakis. Zarakis. Yeah. Zarakis H. Boswell. Stendor. Boswell Um, you notice something about, uh, now that you have had a moment to look at the body, where all the creatures have turned to black ooze, her body has persisted. Um... Or at least it seems to have. I'm gonna look up to the house real quick, like hmm. Um, you hear a crowd a sound like cracking glass coming from her body. And then uh, with a shatter, you see her fall into shards as her frozen blood coagulates and shatters on the ground. Dreadmaster. Yes. Meanwhile, can Zir make um, a perception check to see if the other sister is lingering around? Uh, go for it. Thank you. I said 21. Um, you hear... Um, I will say you would have heard this earlier. At the edge of your hearing, you hear a scream of anguish somewhere in the distance. Directionally? Um, directionally to the northwest. Okay. If if north is towards the castle. So in this direction. Okay. Um, I'll look up and kind of just glance over all of the various windows that I have access to visually and see um, if I spot anybody moving about. I will say because of that rather high perception check, it did sound like it came from the house. It sounded like it came from somewhere in the distance. Oh. As if she was outside. Interesting. 
Zero will hang on to that info for now. Okay. Ooh, did we have did the official art for uh... the official yeah <laughs> new art drop? Yeah, I didn't get to see. Very nice. Yeah, he's I a have, cutie. I have <laughs> he's he's edgy. <laughs> I love him. Stop <laughs> saying that. I love him. We are anime. <laughs> we are powered by God in anime. He's so cool and edgy. Nemo, do not make fun um, of him. I love him so, so much. What do we want to do with the information that the Seltra Dot daughter has shattered rather than turning to ooze or that Mez still seems? Mez Cry? and Clovis both seem pretty messed up. Cry? <laughs> okay. <That's> what... <laughs> I... That is an acceptable I... response. <laughs> I ain't crying. I ain't no bitch. No. <laughs> I'm I'm freaking out a bit. Like I I I don't know whether to be whether or not to be like in, enthused and like or, or just or horrified. It's like it's it's a weird middle ground between those two emotions. Uh, if anyone is glancing over at him or has been through this period, Clovis has been sort of passively standing. He has his spear and shield in hand, but both of his arms are just sort of limp at his side with the spear tip uh, poked sort of uh, into the the layer of spore on the ground. He's just been watching Vaz. Mary reapproaching uh, Mez. Um, I'm going to just take the tressum in my hand and just kind of put it towards the ground and pet it. But as I pet it, it actually will change forms and resume the... Uh, how you originally knew her, which was the giant, uh, basically ram, and uh, skull face, skull face, and I'm just gonna kind of slowly slump over her, and then just sit on her like I'm uh, about to ride. She will lower down to make it easier for you since you are moving with slowness. Well, are we moving on to number two? Because I think she's that away, and Seer will point where she heard the scream. Are, are we in a state as a group to sustain another potential battle? Well, I would say Boz maybe should take more of a back seat, but. I'll we'll clop over. Up front. We I'll... spent a lot of time waiting for <laughs> for armor and stuff. May as well put it to use, huh? I'll start oh. clopping on uh, Mary up towards that body. <clears throat> and as I do, I'll say, just look at you and go, I believe you guys are ready for another fight. And I'll just clop off towards the uh, the fallen body. Because you said she broke into shards, so I want to take a look at what she actually broke off into. Um, she, as you get closer, it looks like red ice. And as you pick it up, you can feel that it has solidified into crystals. Um, Are they As cold? you pick it up, though, no. As you pick it up, I need you to roll a... We'll just say a constitution save. With modifier, that'll be a five. Okay. Uh, as you pick it up, uh, it falls out of your hand and it actually slices you with like a razor's edge. Uh, you take one slashing damage. And you now have whatever bloodborne diseases she has. <laughs> and now I have STDs. <laughs> Yep, every STD and a couple of new ones that we've nicknamed Missouri 1 and Missouri 2. Oh. <laughs> Who wants a herpes? I adventure. mean, hug, hug, you can, hug. You can be a blood hunter. There you go. Sounds like that blood's hunting you right now. I don't know. I think my hugs <laughs> give herpes now. I don't know. <laughs> I really like the concept of a blood hunter that does, like, extra poison damage because they have, like, a disease. <laughs> um, Mez, as you drop this, um, you hear... <laughs> 
this little giggle. Ooh. Hmm. Only Mez hears that. Hey, that. I'm just going to say low. Uh, I'm not screaming it. Oh, maybe she's not dead. No, she's I will, dead. I will, she's I just will. not worthy of coming back. <laughs> oh. That's None of you hear this but Mez. I'm speaking out loud. That's unfortunate. I got bored with her anyway. She's no fun. Um, whose voice am I hearing? Have I heard this voice before? You have not. And as you look to the side, you see uh, what appears to be a young girl in a gray dress. Hmm. Do I see it? I'm, I should be standing next to him. Nope. Or is it... No. How young is she again? Uh, she it's appeared like to be, uh, right? it was, it was hard to determine, but she was like between 12 and 16. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I hope the rest of your toys are as much fun. You have been so far. Mm. And then you feel the presence vanish. Uh, before, when she says you have been so far, uh, all he's going to say is, I don't think I'd be very much fun anymore. There's and, no response. And and with that cut on my hand, I'm just going to go like that and just fling whatever blood's mm. pooling yeah. onto the ground. I mean, there's not much blood. It's like a paper cut. It's not. Oh, you mean it's not like a glass cut, which I was like, oh, yeah, that's. No, it's some. it is not a glass cut. You would take more than one slashing damage from a cut of glass. As someone who has had a piece of cut crystal in their hand, it's more than one slashing damage. <laughs> not fun at all. Bladesmith. <laughs> um, Don't ask questions. Preston, you know. Then I'll just, um, I'll just, then I'll just, stories. I'll just wipe it off on my, uh, like literally like, like right, like in a very obvious spot where you can see it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll whisper something to Mary that I'll send to you privately. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bosric, you do hear what Mez said. You just don't hear who he's talking to. Having a, uh, private conversation there. No, there was a little girl just over that way was talking to me about how this one's not coming back. She's not fun anymore. Uh, I think you just met the thing beneath the town. Yeah, well, we're fun. Maybe we'll come back. Hope your sword's ready. It seems like Zir's itching. I already fight. did. <laughs> Someone has already come back before. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying that out loud or? No, that's player. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so just Zero seems to be itching for a fight. So uh, the other one might be on their way. And I will hold up the gla the, the vial of the other uh, that you Stomach gave me acid. of the stuff, the ice uh, acid for the, you may want this now. It appears you're out. Yeah. And while I was fighting, it melts. It wears off. So if we if we are committing to another fight, we got to put it in quick. None of the... I was, I'll tell you what I told uh, Queden. The next time I have a stupid, honorable I heard... idea like that, please put... Oh, okay, good. Then, uh, uh, then Mez, still is, is that where you're standing? where you are on the map right now. Um, Please put yourself where you're currently standing. Okay, great. Um, um, si I'm sitting on top mind, of... if uh, something surprising is about to happen, I cannot be surprised. It is not something surprising. This would be on your initiative. You would not be surprised. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, You hear a hiss... And, um, you filthy, black-blooded, orcish, stirred, and something out of the cloud, fa like, phases over Bosric, and on the other side, you see, um, Arena standing with both of her weapons. Um, we are going to need to reroll initiative, but first, Bosric, I do need you to do something for me. Can you please make for me a dexterity save? You cannot be surprised, so you do not have disadvantage, but I do need you to make that safe. And 
Okay. No, I will spend my last luck point on this. Okay. If I can find it, there it is. We'll go with ten. Okay. Oh, um, I'm dead. <laughs> so, as oh, wait, Bosr... I won't spend my luck point. I'll spend my, I'll spend my inspiration, so I still have my okay. luck point. As the, um... The mist fades over you, you feel those, like, those thousand paper cuts. Um, you take seven necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum is also reduced by seven. Ooh. Okay, so that's, uh, gets rid of my five temp hit points. I and didn't I ask, I just assumed. Are we good to roll into initiative if we haven't? Yes. Okay, great. Sorry. So my, uh, my hit point maximum is 42, and I'm at 41, so I'm at 40, and my hit point max is now... Uh, your hit point max goes down to 33, and your maximum hit points become 33. But it, would that... The have, temporary it, hit points do not stop the loss of hit point maximum. Okay, but so then if I... you if you have less hit points because of temporary hit points, then you could have you are at maximum health at reduced hit points. So you are now at thirty three with a maximum hit but, point of thirty three. Dreadmaster, um, considering she came in and tried to do something to him in my proximity and my original initiative, um, would it have been possible at all for me to put myself between her and Bosric? No, because she came out of invisibility. Uh, Bosric, you can roll new initiative if you'd like, or you can keep your 15. I will let uh, you make that decision. Do I need to re-roll as well, or no? Uh, yes, please. I rolled on the Or table. you can keep your 25. Uh, I'll just keep my 25. Okay. Why can I never crack? Why do my initiative... Where is my initiative? Let me, let me roll... Oh, no, no, still would have been terrible. I can't roll good initiative. Okay. Um. Queden, could you roll initiative for me, please? Yeah, it was a 14. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> um. Boz, because you can't be surprised, I'm going to allow you to keep your 15. Okay. Um, so that will make the top of the lineup after that attack... Uh, you now see Arania with her red hair sort of, like, flared out in every direction. She looks horrifying. Um, but she is also crying tears of blood. Uh, and that will make Zir our first uh, to go. Yeehaw. Okay, remind me. I kept a vial... And then one <clears throat> vial went to Mez, which is now transferred to Boz, and Boz had a vial that he has already used. Yes. So I have a vial. Yes. Boz and yourself okay. both have vials. Excellent. And I wasn't paying attention when Boz did it. Is it? Is it Boz a bonus had applied it before the apply fight. Or? It okay. is a bonus action in combat to do it. Fantastic. Um. Okay. I will. Bonus action apply. Okay. Oh, why is she where she is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why is she? Why is she not right next to them? Please, <laughs> does she have a reach? How did she hurt them? She moved through them. Uh, they have an ability uh, called yes. uh, Blade Blood Mist. Oh, so cool. <laughs> okay. Dang. Yeah, I know. <laughs> For clarification. Dreadmaster, this is the mother, Arania. Or Ar 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 no. no, no, this, no? Is, the this is the sister. youngest daughter. Younger okay. sister. I must have got, I got the names wrong. Mother is gotcha. self adult. Yes. Uh. Okay, well. Can you hold an action to gain sneak attack later? Is that a thing rogues can do? I'll Again. say that you can hold an action to make an attack, which by attending on which depending on their positioning would grant you sneak attack. Okay. Because, yes. So because that's totally because Mez, Mez goes next, and in theory he could just step five foot forward and then trigger 
me to then hit with yeah. the advantage of him being next. Yeah, so, so that's if your trigger for the action cool. is an ally moves within five feet, I will allow that. Yay, okay, then that's my plan. I bonus action, apply it. I move next to her. I think um, I'll be right here. Okay. And then um, narratively for me preparing to strike but not having stricken yet, um, I look at her and I'm I'm very sad <laughs> when I look at her. Um, I don't I'm she's probably not focusing on me, but if I can make eye contact, I would. Um, and Zier quietly would say, um, I'm sorry that we couldn't kill you at the same time. No one should have to watch a sibling die. We'll make it quick. Um, <laughs> that will make her face turn to you, and you see that her eyes have gone completely black. Yeah. And yeah, uh, Zir adds that we'll make it quick, and so it's clear that she's revving up a more powerful attack, almost yeah. out of mercy. Um, you so see, funny. as she's looking at you with that kind of like grit on her face. She is clenching her teeth so tight her gums are bleeding. Uh, just to get... I want to get a very clear mental picture of the distress of this poor woman. Yeah. Uh, and let us move to Mazura. I think I think that would take Zira back a little bit. Like, I think Zira would kind of, like, soften her grip a little bit and be like, oh. So, <laughs> sadly, I can't do what Zira wants. Um, Bozrek looks like okay. hell. Um, and I'm... I'm still just kind of in my catatomic. I'm going to get off of Mary. Look at Bosrek. Notice this woman now staring intently, ready to hurt Zir. And look over at Clovis, who's still kind of catatonic himself. I'm just going to take one deep breath and move, if the roll 20 likes, to here. I'll have Mary move here. And I'll begin swinging my sensor. And in a loud voice, no smoke, she can clearly see me and go, Mary, you know what to become. Take her down like her sister. And I'll start spinning my sensor. Okay. And with that, I'll... I'll can I take my action, uh, an actual action to have Mary be in a state of transformation, not between the goat and the Tressum, so it's unsure what she is? Yeah. She she becomes a smoke entity. <clears throat> and I'll pass my turn. Okay. Um, the, uh, the youngest daughter, um, who I may have misnamed, my notes are missing, um, Savannah, looks to you, Ivanka. Yes, uh, looks to you, and uh, with that, with her clenched teeth, says, "A mercy, I will return by killing your friends first. Um, and she is going to it's use. Not, that's not how that works. That's not. That's not equivalent. <laughs> she is going to use her ability again. Um, so she vanishes into smoke, and she. Passes through Missouri. Missouri, I need you to make a deck save. Muted. I went, here we go. I rolled it and went, I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> Can I have someone else's inspiration? <laughs> um, that That's a nat one. Two nat ones in a row. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Oh, that's incredible. No, dear. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Okay. All right. So that is that is 18 necrotic damage and an 18 hit point um, reduction. So 1818. 18. All right. Um, okay, um, I'm at 20, uh, 22 hit points. 
Okay. And I will just, uh, and I, as she goes through me, I'll keep spinning and be like, remember, now you're closer. And... Um, as you're spinning, uh, her face, which is turning into smoke whenever your sensor crosses her where she is, just, she just smiles. She says, yes. And what are you going to do about it? Bosric. Um, having seen her do this, Boz looks down to uh, Clovis and uh, Clovis and Queen and says, "So, and and he looks at and he looks at Zier and says, "No more, no more drawing around. You have a shot. You take it." And he is going to bonus action put the put the the acid on his own sword, and if the interface of roll twenty will allow, he will move up and take two swings. Okay. Uh, that will not hit. <laughs> okay. Nor will that. All right. Um, so you, uh, go to swing, and the first hit, she just lets pass through her. The second one, she catches with both of her, uh, glaives, and spins the sword around, and it actually causes the end of your sword to crack you across the jaw, not for any damage, but just as a signifier. And she says, you'll find me a harder target than my sister, orc. Uh, Quedon. Cool. I'm going to move a little closer and yes, as I two, three, four, five, six, let's do that. And as I move forward, I'm going to say uh, like as uh, yeah, as I'm approaching, I say, "One of us. It took one of us, while we all stood back and watched it happen, to take her down. You want to take those chances? I don't like those chances. Uh, and I am going to. Uh." I'm going to cast a third level guiding bolt. Okay. I don't think that's going to help, but What's up? I I think she's she's immune to radiant until we freeze her. She that is radiant damage. Let let him do it because it's going to have an effect. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. That is an 18. That will hit. Um, however, I will not... Don't roll damage. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, as the bolt hits her, it does pass through her. And she says, mm. As I said, my sister was... Wi and she looks down and she sees that her body is glowing. What did you do to me, you filthy monster? The advantage still applies. It's on hit, not on damage. Mm -hmm. And you did hit her. So the Guiding advantage. Bolt, when it hits, gives advantage to the next attack. That's hot. <laughs> she took no damage, but cool. she did get hit. Gotcha. Okay. Well, <laughs> I need to get better at knowing what my spells do, because I didn't know that. That's okay. I'm Wasn't just nothing. glad to help you. Yeah. Is this going to be the musical episode? I'm going to go. See you later. <laughs> what, I'm not saying did, What you did is still very helpful because I was waiting on advantage to attack. Let's and go. now I have it. So All that's right. <laughs> Heck yeah. If as, you want... Is there any bonus actions I can do in that case? I don't think so. Oh, wait. No, you have a rapier. I was about to say, if you want to throw your weapon, you can. Because that would, that would have been a trigger because an ally moved oh, within five feet. Throw. But because you're using your rapier, and that's what you applied the 
acid. Yeah, too. if I had applied yeah. it to my bow, but I I was going for. And yeah. this isn't yeah, once worries. upon a time where for some reason throwing swords work. Well, wait. Could we you not technically to... throw it as an improvised weapon? I super don't want to do that, my friend. <laughs> in terms of in terms of applying the cold, it may still. Mm, I'm I'm standing right there. Um, Fair enough. Question. Want we'll make sure we got our options. Well, this, this did come up. Um, sorry, I know I'm stepping on your turn. Um, no, you're fine. The fact that my sword is hot is not going to impact the fact that it has cold on it, right? The wets do not no. interact. Okay. It does not because of the ma the nature of the wets. Great. Okay. Good. Well, so you, water. for the moment, have a rapier of frost fire, and that is so metal. Yes. Yippee! <laughs> You have uh, the rapier of, uh, what's his name? Icy Hot. Yeah, the guy <laughs> from My Hero Academia. That's, that's what his name yes. is to me. <laughs> yeah, the I rapier of extreme yeah. medium heat. Total, yeah. Well, total the rapier of minus one Sasuke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right, we'll, uh, we'll at least say it looked really cool. You know, we had all It did look really cool. The bolts and, mm -hmm. and the ground mm -hmm. shook and, and stuff. Yeah, and she's angie. And you're angie. Such angie. Yeah. Very everyone, emote. Everyone. <laughs> Clovis. Okay. Um, at the, the Bosric's words when he yelled at us sort of like snapped Clovis out of his just like general malaise and he immediately began running. Uh, so okay. he's going to run his uh, 30 feet forward as soon as, yeah, there we go. Thank you for deciding to function roll 20 should put me ah yes right next to Queden. a good place to be um and uh as he runs forward uh not under his breath but said low and without much conviction um he's going to clasp his hand uh, that his shield is on to his chest and say a fortress around my friends a fortress against my foes stendar uh, and he's going to cast aid on Bosric, Mizura, and probably Zir. Okay, so now you guys see something that you haven't seen before because the nature of um, Clovis's pact has, or Clovis's cleric level has changed. As he casts aid, you actually see the shell of a turtle appear on his back, an, a spectral turtle's shell. As Clovis now has a magical shield of force that will absorb the next, what was it, 14 damage? Um, Two times your level plus proficiency? Yeah, should be. Okay. Uh, As 15. 15, okay. As for everyone at home, uh, Clovis has worked with me and has switched himself to a cleric of the Bastion. Uh, oh. And Bosric, <laughs> Mizura, and Zir, your Ooh. hit point maximum increases oh. by five, and your hit point total increases by five. So that should negate a little bit of the vampiriness. Cool stuff. And that is my turn. All right. Well, that will rotate us back to Zir. Yay! <laughs> I get to attack now. <laughs> I go. And you still have advantage? I go. I heat. Okay, I, I, I go. I go here. I kill. Okay. Um, and before I strike, uh, I look at her and say, tell us where she is. Um, she just laughs and says mother always did want a prettier sister and i was so looking forward to having a younger one you've been to the lab haven't you but hey. that's all she says yeah zero zero just okay your hubris <laughs> um and i will my slice. hubris <laughs> <laughs> zero slices okay she does a slice. Slice with advantage. My slice with advantage is 
<laughs> a 16 to hit. You need two, um, two better for that. Uh -oh. Yes. Unfortunately, you do need two better for that. Oops. But you only rolled once. No, I, it rolled with advantage. It rolled oh, with it advantage. Did? Oh, okay. Yeah. It showed it shows on the D and D Beyond side, but not when it translates over. I rolled an eight and a nine, so it did, did not go super well. Okay, that is Yikes. fine. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Nez. Um, so she's that close. Um. I'm just going to, while I'm swinging it, I'm actually real quickly going to whip it down and around myself and bring my sensor up over my head and down, hopefully onto hers. Okay. Um, and let me do a roll. Okay, that's going to be plus. I have never, I haven't used my weapon in so long, I have to check. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 19. Uh, that will hit. The sensor passes through her still incorporeal body. And then uh, at that point, I will uh, uh, just uh, keep spinning uh, the sensor in like uh, a fashion. They don't know okay. how long it takes to summon her. <laughs> um, all right. She is going to continue attacking Mez because she is laser focused on the only one that she knows that can make, that can do ice damage with the exception of Boz, but Mez taunted her. Um, so, first attack against you, Mez. 25 to hit. That is 10 piercing damage, and you are grappled. Ah, uh, you're muted, too. Oh, no, that, I, I wasn't muted. It was just a surprise of being hit. You know, oh, shocked me I into see. silence. Um, yeah, I'm at 17. Help hit points. Okay. Was that with the additional uh, five that you got? Yes. Oh, wait, no, okay. was it? No, wait, hold on. Let me see. Ten. Uh, yes, it was. Okay. Uh, and then she's going to attempt to bite you. Well. Uh, that will also hit. Um, you take eight piercing and six necrotic, and your hit point max is reduced by six. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I'm down. Not if I can help it. Oh, wait, let me see. Uh, no, let me do my math. Uh, no, no, I'm not down yet. Not down yet. Um, I do right, not she, look good at all. She um, she uh, keeps the uh, hook kind of embedded in him, but you see now that one of her hooks being lodged in, while she's holding on to him, her hit point, her... Uh, AC is lower, because she can't block with it. So! Bosvrick. You took a lost sisters. The spores took mine. I'm just balancing the scales. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and... Again, the, interfa the interface is being... Oh, wait, it did move me. Okay, no, I'm right where I need to be. Nat 20! Nice! It's all coming up, boss. With cold damage, would the cold damage be max too? Uh, the cold damage is maximum, yes. Uh, but that is unfortunately all she will take. Because she has to take that first. Um, so, but maximum cold damage, which I believe is... Six. Uh, yeah. So it's 12. Well, roll it. Roll a d6, because it's six plus, so it's 20 total. Uh, so that was a huge hit, and she screeches as her body crackles, and you see where her sister kind of just got covered in frost. Her skin is actually cracking. Uh, she looks sort of like desert earth. And she just she turns and screeches at you, um, viscera and saliva flying into your face. But you have another attack. Uh, twenty-four. That'll hit too. 
And I say to her, as as I hit her again, I say, Beware, little girl. The Oni has your scent. Nice. Y'all are just gunning for these these uh, inspirations really? tonight. So that's um, eight damage. Yes. Uh, all right. Um, it hits, and, you know, her body seems to crack more. And you see as a piece falls away, she's hollow inside. You now notice that as you're hitting her, pieces of her are falling off like porcelain. And that will bring us to Queedon. I must heal. <laughs> uh, um... I am going to, well, let's move within range here. And I will give you my second level cure wounds. This is Mez, I'm assuming. Yes. I'm assuming you're not healing her. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. make this fight a little longer. How kind of you. Listen, <laughs> ma'am, you seem a little injured. Let me, uh... <laughs> my friends time. are real dicks. My apologies. <laughs> Is this Final Fantasy rules? He just picks up the piece of porcelain and puts it back. Let me just put that back in Hold, I, I brought <laughs> super glue. We're good. <laughs> we can fix it. Woo, we have the technology. Good. All right. That's... Uh, 13 plus... Uh, uh, wait, yeah, 17. Nice. Yeah. Am I still grappled at this point? Yes. Yeah. It is an and action to escape. Can I do anything about that? I got a bonus action. No. Not with a bonus action, no. Yeah, no. Uh, you can use an action to make an assisted athletics check to try and pull her off. But uh, yeah, not with a know. bonus action, I'm afraid. I don't know if I can do anything else. All right, well, I, then feel I guess you. that'll bring us to Clovis. Um, for future reference, potions is bonus. action. What's bonus action? Both for drinking it yourself and for giving it to others. Um, it is a bonus action to drink it. It is an action to administer it. Uh, um, it is also an action to throw it if you decide you want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Clovis was given a one-word instruction, so he's going to follow that one-word instruction. Um, and uh, who Good looks the most? Just follow orders. Good soldiers do follow orders. Who looks the most hurt? That would be uh, Mizora. Probably Mez. Yeah, I don't know. I Mez. Okay. Mez had a lot of hit points drained. I will say, um, if I, my health um, from uh, like a 59, I look like I'm 20. Mm. Okay. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 59. 1 to 59, I'm a 20. Um, uh, Is that 59 with the reduction? Uh, no. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. 52. 52. From 1 to 52, I'm about a 20. Uh, in that case, Clovis will move, um, well, when roll 20 decides that Clovis will move, there we go. Uh, Clovis will move there to fill in that space, uh, and is going to look across at, uh, Mez, who is currently being grappled. Um, he's going to put his hand with his shield over his chest again, uh, looking at Mez, and he's going to say, for all of the faithful, a place in the city, Stendor. Uh, and cast Shield of Faith. So your AC is increased by two. Uh, I'd have to say, at seeing is the... Is that a thing you can cast on others? Wow. I'd say, shield yeah. Shield of Faith? Yeah. A at seeing the sheen come over me, um, I'm just going to um, look in the direction of the clerics because <laughs> I know what they do. And I'm just going to be like, and all, as I'm crippled, all you're going to hear me say is, Help Bushwick! And I'm just, as I'm struggling against her uh, hook and chain. Okay. 
Uh, that will bring us to the top of the lineup with Zir. How hurt does she look? Um, honestly, pretty okay, but also vulnerable for the first time. Because now she is made of porcelain. You do not know for how long that will last. Um, I will say, because you guys were watching the last fight, it looks to be approximately 18 seconds is how long she stays frozen. Or three rounds. Okay. Now, Zir does ha still have cold on her weapon, so th will that give us extra time? Yes. Good Every enough. time cold damage is applied, it starts the clock over. Okay. Neat. Um... But she looks fairly okay. I mean, she doesn't look great. She took a pretty big hit, but she doesn't look like she's, you know, on death's door either. Okay. You will not kill her with a single attack. If if that is what you are looking for, you cannot kill her with a crit. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, zero strike. Okay. Um... I will say that as someone who has trained in not killing their targets for this long, you know when you can and cannot hit someone. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. I and that is always, I will give you carte blanche going forward to ask me, will I kill this person if I hit them? And I will honestly tell you. Please do. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. No, um, I reward character RP moments like that. I love it. Thank you. Uh because I had a plan for what I would do if I was going to kill her, but if I'm not, no, I, then I will. I highly doubt you, you know. will kill her. You know. Okay, great. Um, then I will strike. Um, okay. With you do have advantage because you are flanking. sadness. Hell yeah. Well, let's see if that helps this time around. <laughs> oh, oh. It sure does. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so okay. let's see. So that's... <laughs> Uh, six from the cold. Yes. Um, I may have lied to you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> and what is the maximum damage that your rapier can do? Hold on. I might. Maybe I can ask you to fudge. Because if it's a D8, oh, what's your okay. dex? Five? Um, My damage on the rapier is um, 1D8 plus 4. Okay, so that's 12. Okay, nope, I was wrong. You actually cannot kill her. Doesn't she have the fire damage as well, though? I yes. do. It's a D4. Okay. You still probably can't kill her. Excellent, hey? The uh, important probably You're going to get real close, but I think she'll survive. Fantastic. So go ahead and roll a d8. Okay. Do you want me to just roll? I, well, I can just roll just the same. Yeah, d8. a d8, a d4, and a d6. Here is a d8. Here is okay. a d4. Here is a d6. Nice. Okay. Congratulations. Rolled, rolled you did not kill her. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> you did do a ton of damage, and as you stab into her, the entire, like, left half of her torso shatters and falls away. And she's, like, she leans over a little bit and sort of has to lean on the dagger or the uh, hook that is in Meza's shoulder to stay together. Okay. But as she turns to you and snarls, her face shatters and half of it falls away. Ooh. Uh, she is now looking very rough. Okay. Since she is rough, I would like to use my wills from the grave. Oh wait, no, I super can't because she's the only person that only works on other people. Never mind. Um, all of them but one. The tiefling, you can do your sneak attack damage again to the same target. That is that is not what I desired. Okay. Um, I pr I I do see that though. Thank you for yeah. clarifying on that. Um, um, I also think Leifs can push your initial target or another target. That's up to you. The wording on whales is that it would be... The wording on whales is that it has to be another to target. Second but target. But all, um, all of your siblings can target either the second target or your initial target if that's what you want. 
Fantastic. Okay. Because so you then... also have a unique ish class. Nice. Yeah. So Leif then um, okay. is going to go ahead and kind of hit her while she's already halfway down and try to knock her fully prone. Okay. Um, which is a strength save. All right. And your goal is. She has to beat math, 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 a 15. Uh, she does. She gets a 20. Excellente. Um, so you guys all see as Zir stabs it. Well, you describe how this looks, Zir. It's your power. Thank you. <laughs> um, so Zir, I think... Zir swings out. Mm -hmm. You can tell that she hesitates for a moment. And I think in her hesitation, it's almost, <laughs> I know that like the timing of rounds is invisible, but like almost like that pressure of I need to act now. I think she, because she took a moment to hesitate in her hastiness to act before she loses the opportunity and screws over the group, she puts in more oomph than she intended. Um, so it was a accidental <laughs> crit, essentially. Um, so she strikes true and I think kind of rears back. And um, once again, kind of leaning into the accident uh, because this is really stressing Zero out. I think Leif goes to help balance Zir and prevent her from like fully falling back. And in the process, um, knocks into her it doesn't quite manage to knock her over but shoulder checks her a little bit when trying to steady me okay i will say though that this is the first time the party has seen leif okay mez has seen leif before this is the first time that all of them see a ghost up here and sort of prop zero back up so the, wait this isn't the one who popped out and talked to us after after the um, uh it, you were that, spoken it to was... by gwen Yes, you were spoken to by Gwen. This is a different one. Cool. So you've, this, is, a, you've this seen, is the second ghost. You've, you've seen, seen the centaur. Yeah, yeah, you've seen a T. Well, Gwen's tiefling. Oh, Gwen's tiefling? Okay. You've seen tiefling. This is minotaur. Okay. Cool. I don't think anyone so, has seen new ghosts. Yes, Malin. Sorry, I got Malin and Gwen confused. My apologies. I know, I gave them all yeah. funky little names. Yeah, you've seen Gwen the tiefling. <laughs> this is a minotaur, yes. Okay. Um, and upon... so I remember someone scolded us. That was the tiefling. <laughs> it was Gwen, that bitch. Um, <laughs> Leif would never speak to you that way. Um, okay, and then once steadied and seeing just how damaged she is, uh, I will disengage. Did I move this turn? I don't think you I did moved. not. Okay, I will disengage. Okay. With my running action and head towards what is it? is it referred to as the manor it was the manor right yeah um five five ten does this engaging mean i can re-enter the zone of threat and still be fine or do i need to take a circ circuitous route um yeah you can you like can if I exit go uh, yeah five ten fifteen that wouldn't be an exit and then re-enter. No, I'll okay. I'll allow that as part of the disengage. Excellent. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, but yeah, so basically you see Zier panic, hit someone way harder than she thought, have a ghost steady her, and then run away. <laughs> and that's Zier's turn. All right. Mez. I'm kind of trapped here, so... Um, feeling you're stumbling around and kind of leaning on the, uh, the hook, I'm going to try to, uh, break the grapple and, uh, roll away. <laughs> All right. Uh, you also have Hargoki's dagger, don't you? Although I don't. I, Bob's I do. Know. I do. Um, but nobody's asked too closely where that is. Um. That is an athletics or acrobatics check. Um, I will go with, uh, acrobatics since I'm about to, uh, I'm not very strong. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 17. 
All right. Um, how do you acrobatically <clears throat> pop a pop a hook out of your shoulder? Um, so is it in and like looped up, almost like uh, what's that? Yeah. Video so game? it's it's like this. Yeah. It's like it's like a fish hook in your um, in your shoulder. In my shoulder. Um, yeah. I'll reach back. I'm assuming it's a big hook, or is it like I was talking yeah, dead it, by it daylight is a here? Butcher's meat hook. It's like what they used to hang meat on to dry it. Um, so I'll grab it and pull myself up, kind of coming into a roll over the um, the hook and off of it, landing behind her. Okay. I'll move my uh, token if it'll let me to behind her now. Okay. And uh, since I did that, and I didn't meet any prerequisites, I can't do any bonus actions. Um, so I will, uh, sit there <laughs> at that point. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So um, it is I now will, her turn. I will tell, uh, Mary, I'll look at Mary and say up and let her finish her transformation and fly, uh, straight up. Okay. Uh, Mary will do that. Uh, it is now her turn. Uh, she is no longer saying words. She's just screaming. And uh, she is going to make an attack at you, Bosric. Um, for note, for everyone else, now that there is no flanking, she is making these attacks recklessly, which will give all of you advantage against her. No. But it also gives her advantage. It does. 21. <laughs> just barely hits. All right, that is 12 piercing damage. That's with the hook, right? Yes. All right. So it is in. She has hooked you. And she will try and take a bite out of crime. Why is she biting me? Really? Her? She'll be biting She's here. taking a bite out of crime? Uh, but uh, in her rage, uh, it just hits armor. But you notice that where her sister kind of bounced back from that, she's kind of gnawing at it. Uh, it seems that she has gone completely feral. You are grappled, though. Hungry. Uh, and that will be the end of her turn and bring us to you, Bosric. So I have advantage? You do. Uh, that will be a 19 upon the die. That'll hit. Uh, how's she looking? Uh, all right. I mean, a I'll stiff breeze isn't going to blow her over, but a good hit will. I'll, I'll also do a uh, my last spore power. Okay. It goes to 11! Osric the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> how do you take her out? Oh, 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 oh. I don't even know if there's something he can say to her because she won't, she can't comprehend. So he's, it, 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 the rage starts actually to bleed from him and it just becomes. <sniffs> no more. Rest. Um, she just, um, as that last hit happens, she kind of like staggers back and you see the cracks um, appear, acro go across her face and her body. And she screeches. And as she screams, it turns into something else. She goes, ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. And then she shatters. Well, I just collapse on the ground for a moment. I'm going to first go to um, Missouri. How are you holding up? You took some bad hits. I'm going to look over to where Quedon, uh collapsed on the ground. 
They need you. You all need me. But, and I'll just take my fingers away and just be like, but it's like, just but, blood. Uh, it's just it's blood. Like, so first I'll go over to Queeton. And I know this thing about touching. So Queeton. Queeton. I'm, I'm fine. That's just a lot of... That's, that was very overwhelming. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, Dude, who needs who needs and I'm like I, I I'm like like jittering my hands up like with the impulse to just heal. You did well. <laughs> um okay. So while this is happening, I'm I don't mean to interrupt the scene, but uh, this did happen pretty immediately thanks to a private message I just got. Um uh, I just Zier... I was gonna Go say, ahead. um when he walks away, uh, when Bosrick starts to walk away from me, um I'm going to start make smoke coming from my sensor and I just hold it close to me and um, um, I'm just looks like I'm manipulating something, but it looks like I'm trying to make it look like close to me. I'm kind of stoking the flame and um, inside of the f sensor, I'm putting the dagger. Um, okay. So Zir runs into the door and kind of, bumps into the very tall and imposing form, hands clasped, of Madame Selchadot. And I'm going to actually switch music to hers. Damn it. Just a boss rush today, huh? And, um, Zira, how much do you think you weigh? Huh. Oh. You're not, you're not, you're a pretty slight satyr, yeah? Yeah. I mean, couldn't possibly be much more than, like, 110. Alright. What is your AC? Well, she's got some... 120 or so. 120 or 130. Okay. What's your AC? My AC. I don't know. Say. I don't know. <laughs> 120 What's AC? your AC? Yeah. 120? Yeah. Uh, my AC is 16. Okay. Thanks to my cool new duds. Well, we just lost a rogue. Um, We gotta stop doing As that. you run in, she reaches down and she grabs you by the collar of your armor and she picks you up and she walks outside holding you. Oh, cool. Is, and she, she, says, is she holding me in a way to where I'd be choking or is she just holding me in no, a tight she's, breath? Okay, she's great. basically scruffed you from the front. Nice. <laughs> um, Thanks, Mom. <laughs> very calmly, she walks out. Which one of you did it? Which one of you killed my daughters? Come on now, don't be shy. I'm gonna look at the group and step forward, swinging the sensor and be like, the same one that's coming for you. Do we have time to do an action during this? Uh, let's roll some initiative as she drops Zier. Christ. That answers that? Um, actually, keep um, your I, initiative. Actually, I was gonna say, when she comes out and she's talking to us, um, am I able to act immediately? Um, she only. I'll, I will say yes, but she is where she is. Oh, she! I thought you said she came to the door. She walked out the door. She's like door. right here. I think. Yeah, yeah, she's she's right there. Um, that's um. Let me let me let me see if I can. Um, easily, easily, I can with my movement. Um, so okay, when she if said, if a twenty five is higher than her initiative, you can act immediately. Okay. It is. Go ahead. Okay. Um, if she's holding Zier, um, I'm going to, after saying the same one that's coming for you, seeing Zier in her hand, I'll be like, but that's one of mine. And I'm going to run in, um, get close to her, and immediately just try to um, hit her with the uh, the sensor to break her grip on um, Zier. Okay. Go for it. Roll an attack. Uh, that's going to be a 16 plus. Um, I know that my um, my bonuses are different now, so I have to check. Um, plus seven. So, yeah. Okay. Um, she... Uh, she uh, gets hit across the face. And then looks back at you. Very well. 
She does let go of Zier. Can um as she Move within uh, ten um, feet of her, please. Just oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, right there. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so um, actually, no. I'm going literally to her face because um, I want to use one of my key points to do something a little. Once the thing is, my bonus action will be after Zero is released. Okay. Um, I hit her with the uh, sensor, and I'm swinging it once. Um, she drops Zir. I'm going to quickly just use my bonus action to put my sensor in Zir's hand and say, run, and then take a, a stance in front of Seltra Dot. Okay. So Zir, the sensor is in your hands. I'm going to say you don't have to like roll to fumble that. You just kind of catch it. It, um, it is now Seltra Dot's turn unless you have anything else you want to do. Uh, no, I think that's. Uh, I think I'm pretty set on that. All right. Uh, what is your AC? My AC at the moment, dude. A shield of faith still active, or did it fall yep. off by now? Nope. Still active. Ten minutes. Then uh, my AC is a twenty. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. She reaches out and she backhands you. Um. I'm going to need. Uh, you take 17 slashing damage as her fingers rake across your chest, and then she grabs you and picks you up off the ground. That's fair. And she looks to the rest of you and says, Remember the price of bravery, children. And she's going to try to bite your neck. Okay. Uh, that will be a hit. You will take thirteen piercing damage and ten necrotic damage. I'm um, um so you said thirteen and ten? Mm-hmm. Okay, um negative thirteen. Um as she pulls her teeth out of Missouri's neck, dropping him to the ground, his body vanishes into smoke. She wipes the blood off of her mouth, spits Mazura's blood on the ground, and says, Worthless vintage. We are now going to cut to a different scene. A scene <laughs> beneath the bowels of the village, a place that Zir has been before. Missouri, you feel breath return to your body. And as you sit up, Mary sits on your lap. And the little girl in the gray dress walks forward. My, my, you are an interesting one. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Nothing. And then her mouth keeps moving, but you don't hear anything anymore. You hear another voice. Masura Capris, you have been a good and faithful servant. But I will not allow you to be beholden to this creature. So I make you an offer. Do you desire power? Will you sacrifice the lives of those you traveled here with for power? You know me so well. And I will take one step towards him and then say, their lives don't mean what they, what you think they do to me. 
And then as I lean forward for the next step, I'm going to roll backwards and go, they mean more. And I'm going to walk right towards the girl in gray. You mistake my question for a choice. As you feel a claw dig into your shoulder, you are ripped out of the undercroft and you find yourselves in the streets of an empty city. Missouri Cabris is out of the campaign. Um, I will add one thing. Um, my sensor would take time um, to disappear with my removal. Um, so it'd probably be within a turn or two. Um, my sensor will disappear from you. Um, once it disappears, you'll find you're in possession of the dagger. We are still in initiative order. Missouri has been defeated. Next up on that line would be Bosric. So she's just standing there? Yep. I'm sorry. Are you going... I need to know. Do you plan to fight? Or are you going to try to run? Zir, you're far enough away that you could make it. You would see that the sensor is starting to dissipate. I only ask because that depends on what music stays on. Um. It's up to the party. It's up to all of us. Mm -hmm. Right. Problem is, I don't know if we can win this fight. Well, here's what Zero will say. I don't know what everyone else wants to do, but Zir will kind of hold on to the sensor and she was already kind of, she, this is a very unfamiliar tool to her, so she was kind of like, what? But now she's clutching it very tightly. Um, and she, she looks at um, Seltra Dot. I'm going to the lab. Are you coming? Do you need in the lab, girl? You, you took daughters need. from me. I take daughters from the villagers. This is how it has always been. If you wish to enter my home, you're welcome to do so over my dead body. They didn't. I've already you. killed one of you today. They didn't, Don't make me do it again. They didn't take your daughters. We did. So that's Are you not volunteering fair. as a replacement? Zia. That was the original deal. Zier? Does it still stand? Come along, my child. She offers her hand to you. Fuck it, I guess we're doing this. I'll take it. All right. Um, she looks to the other three of you and says don't be foolish don't interfere I assure you you do not want to see me angry you have taken my daughters from me 
It is a kindness that I let you walk this earth. And she looks directly at you, Bosric. Do not think his sacrifice absolves you. I know whose blade struck down my daughters better than anything. And his pitiful life is a pittance compared to theirs. Take your victory and go, samurai. Zia? Scorpion. She nods. And Seltradot will walk inside with you. In case you missed before the break, uh, the party was able to successfully defeat the Seltradot daughters. However, upon entering the manor to enter the laboratory, where the young girl from the town is being held, they ran into the mistress herself, Madame Seltradot, who came expecting Zir to be given to her to replace her dead daughters. Mazura gallantly ran forward to defend her and had his throat ripped out. When he descended to the underworld to be resurrected, he was not. Whatever entity is inside of him tore him back into the material plane. What that means for the party? Who knows? Zir, you are currently hand in hand with Madame Seltradot. Indeed. Um, as you get inside, she says, I assure you, dear, this is not going to be painful. I mean, it's not going to be pleasant, but I've gotten very good at this over the years. So I've read. I must admit, I didn't really expect your party to give you up like this, but then I suppose what could they do? Um, I wouldn't count them out. Well, I think I'm going to take you and leave you where Katia used to stay, just until I'm ready for you. That's but, fine. Oh, well, well, thank you for acquiescing. Um, and she walks you down into the basement, takes you to Katya's room, and chains, manacles your arms and feet to the ground. Says, I'll be back in a day or so. I'll make sure you have food. Thank you. Where and is then, Dimitri's sister? Not your concern. And then she mm. leaves the room. Oh, no, it is, because that was our deal. She ignores you and leaves the room. Okay. So we cut back to the surface. Uh, now next to Bosric, um, with a similar, just sort of like blank, stark expression. Uh, Captain, orders. I assume we're going in. I don't know if we can beat her like we are. I've got nothing. I put everything into that fight. Damn it. I mean... weren't able to land a hit on me. I don't know how useful I can be, but I don't know what's the plan. Something tells me that unless Zia can score a hit on her with that dagger. 
There's not going to be much we can do. Um, Clovis is going to uh, put his hand with his shield over his chest again and look Bosric directly in the eyes, and he's going to say, Captain, against the wind, against the rain, against the fires, against their flames, we will stand. Stendar. Uh, and he's going to cast level three aid on uh, Bosric, Quedon, and himself. Mm. So that's uh, hit point maximum up by 10 and current hit points up by 10. Uh, and then he's going to put his hand on Bosric and say, I'm going inside. Do you have any orders for me? Or am I improvising? How dare you? That was so cool. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be a terrible captain who is not willing to go with, who is not willing to lead. Let's see what we can do. I'm still I'm still gonna point out out of character. I am not I she's probably going to kill me, but that's alright. That was that was that was Queen will take up the rear. Hey, I got I got some spells. I am built to be a shield. As long as I will be the shield. As long as they don't take you. (laughs) As long as you don't get tooken. I can do some revivin. I'm gonna move you guys down to where you would be, hmm. real quick. Uh, and by you guys, I just mean the the lady and Zir. What if I took you? <laughs> what if I? So, all right, let's try the door. Um, the door appears to be open. Um. Zir, you can hear um, crying in the next room, uh, the whimpering of a young girl. Um, And then you sort of feel a gust of wind. It's very faint, but it sort of disturbs the ground, uh, the dust on the ground here. And you hear a voice say, They never learn, my daughter. One day, these men will learn to stop coming into places uninvited. If they have to learn it over their own dead bodies, so be it. And you hear footsteps walking away. Um, As we approach the door, Clovis is going to put a hand on Bosric's shoulder if he tries to go forward. Uh, I'm going to cast Warding Bond on him, uh, and I'm going to open the door and step in shield first. Okay. Um, that will bring us to this image here. You guys can walk in and you can see she is back there by the door. But I am going to do a quick cutaway. We find ourselves in a clearing. It's far from the mansion. Strange flowers grow around the remnants of this clearing, giving off an odd odor. Those with bent towards the more druidic path, or perhaps rangers, would recognize this as Wolfsbane. The smell wards off the feral creatures that patrol these woods. In the clearing beyond, We hear the rhythmic sound of hammer on steel. Clang! 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 The matron walks into the clearing. She sees a dwarf dressed in plate armor with a cigar in his mouth and milky white eyes. My noble blacksmith, 
Is this all you're good for these days? Hmm. Probably not. Come now, Galnus, you're strong. Do you still have the fight in you, or are you just a man of making now? I can't do it alone. Certainly not. But there are people here who need you. They've lost one family member already. I can take you to them, if you'd like. This time you won't be late, Galnus Iron Sights. Put down the hammer, and what you actually do see is uh, about five foot six dwarf, long beard, braided, um, hair long, flowing back, um, gray eyes. Um, but not because that is his color, but because uh, he's lost his sight. I place my hammer down, walk inside, not saying a word. You'll hear some clattering, things of that nature. I'll come out wearing uh, steel armor, steel plate with um, my blacksmith apron over the top, large pauldrons with two lions, um, edges in, etched in uh, almost gold. I pick up my smithing hammer, which to some of you may actually seem more like a war hammer. When, it, when I take it in my hand, the tip swells to almost like a short of molten. And if you've ever seen heated uh, metal get heated when you see that sheen go across it, that happens to his plate armor. He picks up a shield that's sitting by the forge, wraps it on his back, and then sheaths a great sword as well. I run my hand over the forge and the coals just go cold. And I'll slap um, my Warhammer. And... <laughs> I've had a drink and I've been bored. <laughs> Let's do something fun. As you touch the coals, another voice, um, feminine and familiar to you, but perhaps not familiar to the others, says, Well, it's about time you got out of here. I was getting a little sick of your ugly mug, Galnus. <laughs> oh, I think I know who that is. And I will say to the, uh, the matron, Apparently, people need to see my ugly mug. <laughs> and I and I just move my hand and I light my cigar. Let's go. Um, the matron reaches out and touches your chest, and with a, you feel yourself teleported. But before we tell you where, I'm going to cut back down to the prison cell where we have Zier manacled hands behind her back and at her feet. However. This is not the first time Zir has been in prison, and these manacles are shoddy by comparison to the things they've tried to keep death in. So, Zir, would you like to attempt to escape your bonds? I would. <laughs> All right, roll me a sleight of hand check, please. I am, I am small. Um, I'm small. I'm small. Didn't account for small. I can deny it no longer. I am small. <laughs> <laughs> what is I, happening? I quote that all the time. Okay. Is it because you are, in fact, a little guy? I am a little guy. <laughs> um, I rolled a 20. All right. Um, 13. This is nothing to you. Just click. You're out. Um, this was clearly meant to restrain someone pulling against it, not someone trying to work their way out. Yeah. Um... But you're out. Uh, you have free reign of the downstairs. Stunning. Uh, I go where the crying is. Okay. 
Uh, you walk through this door, the one that was meant to keep Katia in, um, which is now unlocked. Yay. And you see uh, Dimitri's sister is chained to this table. Uh, she is no longer making any sound. Yep. Um, you check her pulse, and she has no pulse but you can see her eyes rapidly moving around. I place a hand on... Well, okay. What did she do to me? Oh, um... She made me drink this red potion. I, I feel strange. Uh... She's strapped down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I would like to unstrap her, if possible. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I put her on her side. And I say, I don't know if this will help, but um, it's going to suck. And I open her mouth and I put my fingers in to try to force vomit. Okay. Um, she will vomit out... Sorry, I know that's gross. Should've, no, should've it's okay. Warned. A metaphobia Screw warning. It. A metaphobia, yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> she will uh, vomit out a black Icarus liquid and collapse dead on the ground. Oh, whoops. As the potion was what was maintaining her life. <laughs> Oops. Oops, <laughs> Daisy. Okay. But awesome. she does also <laughs> descend into the puddle, which means that perhaps she will come back. Because as you have noticed, that is what means that something can come back. Okay. Um. I run out over here and go here to where this gate is. And I bang on it. <laughs> okay. We're gonna uh, hold that right there and do a lot of back and forth tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got three simultaneous scenes, baby! <laughs> um, as the three of you walk into the upper manor, um, is only Clovis inside the main foyer, or are all of you inside now? Because I, I um, see Queen and Bosrick are a little behind the primary door. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we followed. Um, you see, as you walk in, the back doors to the downstairs open, and a very perturbed looking Lady Seljadot walks out. And she says, can I not get a moment's peace? I've already told you, the transaction has been finished and... Wonderful. More guests. And as you hear more guests, the doors push open behind you, and as you turn, you see a five-foot-six elf in full plate armor with sword and shield on his back and a hammer in his hand. Dwarf, you and mean. Dwarf, it's a dwarf. <laughs> dwarf, what did I say? Elf. Elf, elf. elf like sorry. You. It's a dwarf. Nope, it is fully it's a, a dwarf. It's a very short elf. Um, <laughs> it's a very tall dwarf. <laughs> I'm a but, forest dwarf. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, you guys notice as he walks in, you have seen, especially you, Quedon, uh, and probably you too, Clovis, you have seen blindness before. This mm. is clearly a blind man. Uh, Galnus, you can go ahead and drag your token out there right behind Bosric. Let me uh, find them on the map. Ah, uh, here I'll ping. What is happening? Um, in bamboozle. I can't see because I, I have the map so big for uh, roll twenty. Oh, um, top left corner. Top left. Thank you. Ah, there it is. Good stuff. Good stuff. What is happening is I realized you guys were getting into a boss fight and warned Dwarf to have his back up just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Art already because, had, so I don't need to wait because for Because of the five of you, only one of you, only four of you had actual classes. Clint, mm. I have way more questions than that statement answers. <laughs> Great. Um, so yes, Blind Dwarf walks in. Um... Um... Uh, I think Clovis is just oh. so locked in right now that he's going to look over his shoulder and say, are you here to help us? Wait a minute. I know you. 
You're Galnus Ironsides, aren't you? Well, it's Your not... Your friend spoke very highly of you. Let's see. First off, it's Iron Sight. I don't have two to sight anyway, but uh, my friend spoke to you? Hmm. Well, many years ago, probably 200 or so, I was wondering where you went after you disappeared. I took a nap. <laughs> Hope well, you'll be well rested now. <laughs> Hope you're rested. Hey, what the hell is happening? And I'm going to pull The up. smile drops from her face. You with us? Order. <laughs> well, I don't like her, and I just met you, which means you're probably more friendly than her. <laughs> Do you Good guys... for me. And I'll just I offer like... my cigar. Do you smoke? I like to think so. Um... Not on the job. All right, Maybe. suit yourself. I pull a flask from my uh, my my uh, apron and just replace it. Pull out my shield and go. So, are we gonna dance now, or are we gonna sit around all day? By all means, let me finish what I started two centuries ago. Let's roll initiative. Boss Ooh. music time. Thank God, get another shot at this. Fuck digital. What? Right? I'm sorry, Clint. I'm. What are we listening to? <laughs> Seltra dots boss music. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! It finally awesome. Nice. Yeah. That's probably gonna help me any, anyway, but. Um, I uh, need to hold on. I got change character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rolled a 17 DM. Great. Seltra dots boss music is very loud. How uh, do I? I I will turn that down. I, I, I rolled a 19. Um, I'm looking for my character sheet, but I, I have zero bonus, so uh, we're good. So it's just 19. Okay. That is better. Thank you. Um, a... Again, thank us to Asterix VTuber for this fantastic oh, music. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, a... And going forward, just so everyone knows, every boss and location will have custom music. And it's, I got to listen to all of them beforehand, and I was like, fighter, fire, come on, let me play this music. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Queden, what was your roll? Twelve. I'm sorry. Twelve. Great. Thank you. Um, Zier, we're going to add you to this as well, actually. Um... I'm jamming. I'm absolutely jamming right now. All it's right. So punchy. So, uh, top of the lineup. Um, well, before we move into the fight, let's. Uh, I know we're in boss music, but it still works for what Zero's doing. Zero, you are pounding on this gate. You don't get any response, but you do feel a presence. It, it's hard for me to talk slowly while this this is just like I know <laughs> I'm like yeah, trying to gather my thoughts and it's like <laughs> uh, um you need to bring her back you hear a voice I don't take requests but I did like her I think your friends need your help See you Thank later, you. Seder. Oh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that angered me more than anything else. Yeah, she was like, ugh. She visibly cringed at that and went, okay. All right. And now we are going to coming, move. Coming from the person who threatened to wear my skin. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Seder. It's not what I expected. <laughs> we are now going to move to initiative order, starting with Bosric. Um. She's pretty far. Uh, my screen was 
glitchy for a moment. Sorry about that. Um... I can move. If Zira had shouted, where's Mez? Would she have replied? Um, Five, ten, yes. 20, 25, okay. 30. If Zir had shouted, where's Mez? All he, she would have heard back was, out of my reach. Eh, screw it. I will really quickly switch to a non, um, a non silver cry. Well, I don't know that for sure, so I will switch to a non-silvered crossbow vault and shoot her at disadvantage because she is long range. Okay. Uh, 19. Miss. Thought so. It's, it's, it's incredibly half-hearted, like, I know this isn't going to work, but... And she bats it out of the sky. And I just go... Yeah. <laughs> For switching back to sword and shield. <laughs> All right, she is going to use her first legendary action. Mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. To move right there. It will then be her turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, she DM, runs up. Yes. Um, when she uses her first legendary action, it moves that, that close. I'm just going to go, oh, there you are. Nice. Um, uh, she will run up to you, Bosric, and she is going to make her attacks against you. Oh, Reminder geez. that you are under the effects of Warding Bond. Which does... Plus one to AC and saving throws and resistance to all damage. Cool. So I believe that kicks your AC up to 21? Yep. Nice. And she'll get a nat 20. No, she won't. No, she won't. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. no, well, no, you do yeah, it then. Let, you do it. let him do, you his... do it. Because okay. I, I only have, uh... Left. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I... she won't, says the entire party. <laughs> <laughs> I can negate four critical hits per long rest. All right. It, uh, is, it is a hit then. All right. Which is good because you do not want her backhanding you with a crit. Yeah. Um, I don't want right. her touching me at all, but we can't mm. get what we want. Um, so that will still be a hit, uh, but it will not be a critical hit. Yeah. Um, so that is 17 slashing damage. And as she slashes you, she actually kind of like, as she pulls through, closes her hand around you and lifts you up off the ground. Um, and then she is going- Can I make an athletics going... check to- uh... On your turn. No. It, it, is a, it is an automatic grapple and then you can escape. Okay, all right. Um, uh, she is then going to take her other hand with those long fingernails and slice it across your face. Um, 23 to hit. All right, that'll hit. Okay. Um, and of course, uh, Clovis, you took some of that slash. Yes, was that pre-halved? Um. Or is it half of 17? It's half of 17. Okay, good to know. So you'll, and it's rounded down, so you'll take eight. Got it. Um, she hits again. So wait, how much have I taken? You should also 17. take eight. Oh, no, oh, he, it, he, oh takes he gets resistance? Damage. Yes. Okay, so it's it eight. resistance to all damage. All right, then it's eight. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Essentially, I'm taking again. the other half of. And what was the um, other one? Um, an additional seventeen. So, so eight. eight more. Hmm. All right, and down to thirty-two. <laughs> and then she will bite you, or she will attempt to bite you. Uh she will bite you. She will re-roll. Okay. She will bite you. Oh. Damn. That is 14 piercing damage reduced to 7. And it's resistance to all damage? Yes. Okay. It specifically and says all damage. 16 necrotic reduced to 8, which will also reduce your hit point maximum by 8. Okay. But that is the end of her turn. Which will bring us to Galnus. She is about to take me out, I'm just to say. <laughs> uh, you, you were counting the 10 uh, maximum HP you had gained from a yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. So, yeah, she's, uh, so my max is now 40, I believe. 
Okay. Well, sadly, I can't get to you in time. I, I'm I'm a dwarf, and I don't move fast. <laughs> well, if you can hurt her, that's fine. But yeah, Boz is not probably gonna walk away from this one, which is fine. I okay. I took out her daughters. Uh, we got a cleric. I'm gonna don't, start don't to. Out so I will. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'll move forward and be like, and just. Uh, uh, I'll just scream out to her. I thought you said you were going to finish what you started. I believe we started long before they did. <laughs> Come on, you big bitch. We did, Galnus, <laughs> but he killed my daughter. I'll be with you in a moment. Clovis. Oh, I'm up. All right. Um, you, you are up. I am God, up. this music is so hype. Uh, yeah, when you're up, you're up. Am I right? <laughs> When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up. <laughs> uh, Clovis is going to move his full movement to get right next to her. Um, and uh, as a bonus action, Clovis... Um, uh, yeah. Real quick, hold on. Uh, in the chat, Dungeon Alchemist, are you a representative of Dungeon Alchemist? Because if so, awesome. This was built in Dungeon Alchemist. I'm glad you like it. Your software is amazing. Um, go ahead, uh, Clovis, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Clovis runs up as a bonus action. He's going to summon uh, a power around the spear in his hand uh, and mutter to himself. <clears throat> the lights, the voices, the people of the city stand against you, Seltradot, uh, and cast Spirit Shroud on himself. Okay. Um, actually, wait, hold on. Does that? No, it doesn't. Oh, God, I love warding bonds so much for not being concentration. Uh -huh. Um, so, uh, his, uh, spear now does an extra 1d8 of cold damage. Uh, and he is going to make a strike that will okay. hopefully hit. All right. Um, let me go for a roll. Uh, ooh, probably not. That's a 12. That will miss. Yeah. Um, your spear comes in and she bats it away. And as you say that, the people of your city are weak, mortal. All right. Um, that is my turn. Um, just because I want her to give as good as she gets, she kind of smiles at you and says, as the eagle shatters the turtle shell, I will shatter your shield. Zir, you are downstairs, but you can move as you would. Yippee. Or do whatever you'd like. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I, I go. I zoom. Um, Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm a rogue. I double dash. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, hold 15. on. I'll, I'll open up the uh, the map more just so you can see how many stairs you have to go up. There you go. 25, 30, 35. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. you are almost to the door. Nice. You can arrive just in time to see me die. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> That's it for me. All right. Queeden. I mean, I got to do what I can. You got to eat about, the lettuce. About, about Boz. I got to. <laughs> I... Do I give you a third level? I think. I think I wanna do that. Um. Yeah. You're getting. I've got one more. You're I'll, getting a third level. I'll save it. I'll. I'll. I'm not gonna use another third level, but I'll use it here. Oh, let me move first. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That is. Uh, 
That is 20. Okay. Up to uh, 37. Yes. Uh, sorry, that was a 20 cure wounds. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I realized well, I did not verbalize what spell I was... Well, now you know the armor class. The armor class is 20. I, was, I realized I did not verbalize what spell I was using, but it was a tactic. We have Understood. learned information. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. We've got one over on you, Dreadmaster. Oh, no. My carefully crafted plan. <laughs> I have a bonus action, perhaps. Uh, eh, no. <laughs> I think that's my turn. All right. Um, top of the lineup, Bosric. So breaking free is an action. Yes, athletics or acrobatics check. It has a DC. No, she's just gonna auto grab me. I think I'm basically just delaying the inevitable here. That may be wise until we get our other party member back. All right. My life for ire. All Don't right. Don't sue us, Blizzard. She's going to use her last legendary action to um, bite you. So uh, she's doing that before I'm doing anything? Oh, no. I thought you were... I thought you were... Uh, holding your turn. My apologies. No, go ahead and no, do what you no, want no. to do. I was going to try and slash her across the face. Well, go for it. I give I'm at eye level, my... aren't I? Yeah, you're at, you're at eye level. Uh, not flanked, though. No. Grappled, Never so movement. wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> missed. And also missed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. So... Now she will use her legendary action to bite you. Uh, that will hit. I will use... I haven't used my bonus action yet. Okay. But Do you want to use your bonus action? Um... No. So she, so she bit me, yes? Yes, she's biting you. Uh... I'll second win just to get myself back up to... Try and get myself back up to 40. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, I'm not rolling a d20. It's a d something else. I believe it is a d10 plus your level. Actually, no. I will hold my bonus action until after she attacks me next. Okay. With, after the um, bite. Like, when she hits me with something normal. Yeah. So the bite dealt five piercing and five necrotic, reducing your hit point maximum by five. Okay, so I'm at 30... Two of thirty-five. Uh, did you okay. pre-have that? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. That is pre-halved. Okay. Got it. Um, and now she will take her her attack. Um, she is going to actually slash at um Clovis this time. Okay. Uh, that will miss Clovis. All right. Um, she is going to attempt it again. Uh, that will also miss Clovis. So she will just try to bite Bosric. Uh, that'll miss... <laughs> I heard miss before D and froze. So. Yup. She missed Bosric and hit the Ethernet cable instead, I guess. Well, once again, while we're DMs, um, everything is great and wonderful, and we all have inspiration. Yes. Yippee. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, boy. Don't tell anybody. Uh huh. I cast Stendar's favorite, which raises everyone's max HP to 900, 999. 999. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Stendar's favorite. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.
We what lost the Dreadmaster. What did that do to the stream? Oh my god. <laughs> we won. We won. Ooh. We vamped. Da, 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 Ooh, da, da, we vamped. Wait, is what, get what in the it frame. Did. Okay, oh no, so... I left the frame. No, I gotta get back. I gotta get over here. <laughs> yeah, I up. can't get low enough. There we are. There we are. There we are. I can't get low enough to take over. Wow. Darn. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Hope Valentine's you get lucky tonight. Day. Many, many Pretty body good slaps. Good Valentine's and bad. Luckier than we were with these bloody godforsaken <laughs> Indeed. rolls. Indeed. Happy... Hope somebody sucks your blood. Is that topical? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Yeah, very good. Nice. Too soon, man. Too soon. Suck, <laughs> oh, oh my uh. gosh. Okay, if you had like a cheesy Valentine's Day card with your character on it, what would it say? Hmm. Um... I feel like mine has to say "See you later, Seder." On. <laughs> That's, later, pretty Seder good. That's pretty really good. good. I later, can't, I can't imagine awesome. something else. I don't know if it was Mez. I feel like it'd be like one yeah, a nap. How about simply... a dirt nap? Like, <clears throat> well, <laughs> he sleeps. Well. I, I don't know who the fuck this person is that you're playing, but I love him so much more. <laughs> <laughs> is it because he won't literally hit every one of your character's anxieties <laughs> yeah 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 that's He's exactly so why cool. Queen, like he was just so socially intimidated <laughs> if, if, I you, miss if Mez, you enjoy but I... him you this is a, the, him. the terrible thing is she yeah. can kill me in a way that will circumvent my orcish relentless endurance mm. yes don't worry. The good thing about aid is, as written, it stacks. So I can just keep casting it, yep. and keep sort of negating the the hit point drain oh. uh, for as long as that'll be helpful. Is that is that what's on your Valentine's Day card? <laughs> don't, <laughs> yep. don't worry, it stacks. It stacks. <laughs> don't worry, it stacks. The DM Actually, I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a special uh, shout out because I was in a good mood, so I made a dirty joke that only one person got. So shout out to Tamshu because um, I was talking about the weapon. I said, uh, when I take it in my head, the tip swells with like this. And he immediately messaged me that and said, <laughs> I'm dying. So he picked up on it immediately. And I was like, thank you for picking up what I put um, down. And I'm really <laughs> proud of making only more Wait, I got, I got bosses. I have three charges of fighting spirit, <laughs> just... but infinite oh charges of loving spirit. Yeah, oh, dude, that's good. I need I need to explain because it didn't it didn't narratively make a ton of sense because Zir was literally in mortal peril. Yeah, I, while I was sorry, losing I my took mind, you. I ripped but... you out of character. <laughs> but, yeah. but what happened earlier? Was, <laughs> uh, Red we're still recording, like a... right? Yeah, yes. yeah, we're still we're still live. Um, oh, Red yeah, did hey, like guys. a dramatic. Red did like a dramatic pause before like <laughs> he sure. says like Madam Silter Madam Silter came and I went like <laughs> Madam Silter dot came and like very said, suddenly muted and us I just went pog so hard for like half a yeah. second. <laughs> and and we, the only one I missed that. Him. I was too busy. Oh, scared. we are was... entertaining the peoples with our our stupidity as we wait for the DM to come back. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Also, um, I will say. Um, uh, biting uh, Maleficencers. Um, Galnus Art is in the Discord chat. So if you, sure if, you hype, hype, hype. if you want to see He's what he here. looks like, is are, okay. I need the context the for who this is in the context of other, uh, other lawful stupid campaigns. Yes. How do we know this person? Honestly, uh, the uh, the the character was uh, different in another campaign that we only ran for three mm. sessions because uh, we had to stop uh, it for personal reasons. But it, the art was barely out there; nobody really saw the art. Pretty art. And then I had Nix, who was absolutely amazing, um, on the fly make modifications uh, yeah. for the campaign. Yeah, big shout out to Nix. Love as well. Dude. Three cleric for party. all of this fantastic. Yes, art. it's a he good is time. a cleric. Snap, snap, snap. Oh. I'm so excited. Who's a good cleric? Plug. Are you, are you a forge actually, cleric or are you not a forge cleric? I am not a forge cleric. Uh, um, okay. For you guys, Even I am I am Oath of the Forge, actually. It's custom. Oh, so cool. you guys still do get certain bonuses, which uh, basically, uh, yes. if you're within 10 feet of me, your saves uh -huh. go up. So enjoy that nice. happiness. 
Yes. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. This we is... love a pally. Yep. Oh, yeah. Gotta love the pally. Mm -hmm. I will no longer be oh. doing the thing that I was considering doing. He is very much um, at all times rocking an AC of 23. Mm. By yeah. default. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. But as you've seen, most things we've encountered, some of them have plus 8 to 10. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'll take a shield of faith happily. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, word from the Dreadmaster, there is a power surge uh, chat. So That's fine. Oh. Uh, we will stand by. And and because I like to really make um, Boz feel inadequate in terms of uh, HP, um, mm -hmm. I have an HP of 89. Holy shit. Yeah. Insanity. <laughs> good, okay, so good do I let Boz help. die and create a new character? No, because, <laughs> no, um, um, because the art is just... I have seen the art chat, and it is... Even though he doesn't have the Vermilion Vigil tabard anymore, it, it, it he looks absolutely phenomenal. He's so now you all thought you would Samurai. escape me. Ah! Yes, we did. <laughs> no, ba Boz was uh, he became Genuinely DM Red, and so like all kinds of things happen. Mm -hmm. um, we're all rocking. If I, if I was DMing, I would because I was I, I helped Red create this. I would 100% try and bring the horror. But yeah, we just might be very different. Though, we discussed because... what everyone's cheesy Valentine's Day card catchphrases would be. Yes, I have Clovis's. <laughs> you melt okay. down the walls of my heart. Oh, very good. Oh, gross. I said okay. mine had to be see you later, Seder. I mean, I can't imagine. I can't yeah, like with a you winky. Know, I have never regretted something coming out of the mouth of my BBEG more in my life. <laughs> and see you later, Sater. <laughs> no, I, I think it was fantastic. Thank you very much. It was very gorgeous good. and beautiful. Um, well, we are back. Uh, the madam just finished her turn with three absolute fucking whiffs, which will bring us to Galvis. Also, I was informed that is Dungeon Alchemist's actual um, Twitch channel. That's really exciting. Stick. I love that program yeah. so much. I've designed this entire world on Dungeon Alchemist. All right, so um, free plug. I'm gonna move in, and I'll use my bonus action first, and I'll just holding my shield. I'll be like, "So, you're the one that did it." And I turn my warhammer towards my cigar, hold it to the tip. It burns even brighter as I use a bonus action for um, my searing smite. Okay. And I will move within range of her uh, with this. I don't know why roll 20 is being ridiculous tonight. And I will take uh, my first swing on her. I have to go to my attack so I can see what's what. New dice for new character. Uh, this is all for fun, by the way, because we killed her while you were gone. That's fair. Yep. Yeah. No, she's already yeah. dead. This is just, just so yeah. you know. So no, that's that is, fine. Something worse <laughs> is coming. So that is a that is a, that is a that is a 13 plus nine for uh, 22 to hit. That'll hit. All right, that will be, where's the, the die for my damage on this bad boy? Okay, um, that's going to be seven plus five for 14 and for Searing spite, uh, Smite at a level one, I roll a 1d6 and that will be two fire damage um, causing her to ignite. Um, let me notch off my smell because I'm a good boy. And um, so that'll be the first one. I bring it down like this. And as she catches fire, I'm just going to bring it over and straight down like on her collarbone. Um, be like, okay, this is, I'll say, this is my bite. And I will find uh, roll 20. Um, so that's going to be uh, with my plus nine. That's a 29. Nice. <laughs> um, so that's going to be the, uh, the crit. Um, um, she will use her legendary action to make it a hit. To make it just a hit. Okay, yes. and as I bring it down, so that's going to be, let me roll my uh, d8 on her Virgin. then. Um, okay, so that's going to be 6 plus 5, so for 11. But um, I will be using, um, expending a spell slot at level 2. Um, and as okay. it hits, it's going to ignite in a bright radiant light as I Divine Smite. So okay. it will do an additional 3d8. So it's going to be seven plus six, 13. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so 13 is going to be 17 radiant damage. And is, right. she, is she undead? 
Um, not for the purposes of the extra smite damage. Okay. Um, and so I'll do. That'll be all of my damage as I bring it through. Uh, bring it down. Bring it back, and then I'm just gonna grab my uh, my cigar and just go and blow my smoke in her face. <laughs> okay. She will. Um. She'll smile. Just say, I have missed you, Galnus. But does she like the smell? She seems to. It's good, so good, it's good. Um, and she says, let me deal with my first partner first, and then we'll dance. And she's going to use her last legendary action to bite Vosric again. Jeez. That will hit. Don't play with your food. Uh, 14 piercing, reduced to 7. 15 necrotic, reduced to 7. And minus seven maximum hit points. So grand total of 14. And minus seven max hit points. Okay, so I'm at 18. My max hit points are now. Um, I will use my held bonus action to second wind. Did you not already second wind? I didn't because she, oh, didn't, okay. she didn't hit me. So six plus my level, which is six. Yeah, but that can only go up to 28. All right, Clovis. All right. Um, hmm. I think uh, both seeing and feeling Bosric take more damage. Um, Clovis is going to uh, look at Madame Seltradot and say, strike all you like, eagle, feather by feather, Stendar will pluck. Uh, and I'm going to cast uh, third level aid again uh, on myself, Bosric, and our new friend, Galnus. Uh, and because I am casting a spell at higher than first level, I'm going to activate my ability uh, voice of Authority, which allows an ally to use their reaction to immediately make one weapon attack. Um, does Bosric have the ice on his sword still, or is that gone? It's gone. Okay, uh, then I'm going to target Galnus with that. Uh, so Galnus would hear a voice in his head. He is my shield. Be my sword. All right, Bosric is being phased out. <laughs> um, you will hear another um, voice in your head after you hear that say, Get out of here, turtle. This one belongs to the ram. So I take it I'm attacking right now? Yes. Okay. Um, 11 plus 9. Dirty 20. That'll hit. All right. Um, I have to find the right die because I had two sets while, of die. While you were gone, Dreadmaster, I was um, weighing like, do I let Bosric die because he's about to become obsolete? So, <laughs> oh, geez. So uh, that's going to be eight plus five for uh, 13. Oh, no, f sorry, 14. I get plus one to damage. I forgot because of my ability. Yep. Um, okay, so it's eight plus six. So 14 uh, magical damage. And um, again, I will uh, only at a level one this time. I will ignite uh, for the. Uh, so I'll bring it ignite down. This might. Yeah, down like this, and then once it's down, I'll just lower my shield like this at the same time and just bring it across her face. Okay. Um, it's two D eight. Are you tall enough to do that? Uh, <laughs> look, it's a long hammer. Like, look at the picture. <laughs> You're a tall almost... dwarf. You're like five six. So. No, four six. Yeah. Four six. Four six. So. There's no such thing as a tall dwarf. Um, that's going to be... There is. They're called moles. Yeah. Seven <laughs> plus four. So that's going to be... Okay. So that's 11 um, hurts, radiant hurts, damage. Maybe. And then um, as I hit with the cigar in my mouth, I'm going to be like, oh, you're my shield. Who the fuck shield am I then? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Zir. I get to run some more. <laughs> <laughs> Wahoo! Track okay. stars here. <laughs> she's a winner. She's a track star. Um, I've moved five ten. 
and I'm at the top of the uh, stair. So uh, at 10, you are on the other side of the door at the top of the screen. Excellent. There's a, there's a big map. Here I go. Okay, right here? Or behind one? Uh, right there. Perfecto. Okay. Perfecto. Just a reminder, count? DM, she is on fire right now. Okay. Does this count as art of me? Not Zier, not Zier. Okay. I was like, ah! Um, does this count as 15 or is this part of the 10? That's part of the 10. Great. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um. Uh, dash, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I am here behind the statue. Did I see her come in? Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to try and meet her eyes. Can I roll and with, stealth? And whisper and, and, and mouth. Ah, uh, yeah, you can roll stealth. Excellent. Well, so I'm going to hide on top of that. I don't know if you want that to be all wrapped up in the same roll. I, I, Boz potentially could have seen me come in, but I'm trying to make sure that, um, Ultra Dot does not recognize that I've entered the room. Okay, good... then, Boz, oh, then you probably that... don't. If she's moving with yeah. stealth, Boz, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. also, I've got a, a woman's hand around my throat. Good stuff. <laughs> Boz is a not, bit preactive. And not in, a, not in a fun way. And he's no. had the fun way. You yeah. want me to roll stealth and <laughs> Let's hide? Let's see if it was a spicy girl. Uh, uh, stealth is part of hide, yeah. Great. Whatever your stealth roll is, we'll take us. Okay, 18. All right, you think you were pretty well hit. Okay. As far as you know. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, this, this is her, we're in her house, so yeah. <laughs> she, can, she can be doing whatever. Um, okay, great. That's it for me. Who's got to be healed? Is it Boz yes. again? It's probably Boz again. It's, I think it's Boz again. Uh, I'm at 28. I think my max, though, is 28. So I'm... You gained an extra 10 last turn. From oh, you. you're right, yeah. But did so the aid not hit. heal him ten as well? Yes, your your so then his current max is hit points and max oh. hit points go up. I yeah, get I to did. do I get to do a bad. Holy cow! I get to do a hitty. I get to do a hitty. I can't. Oh God, I already wasted my 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 third level. Okay. I got nothing is wasted. These... Everything is used usefully. Yeah. Okay. Sure. 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 Yes. 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 I okay. Because stop being mean to my friends. Then... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's you. Yeah, you're yeah, my yeah, friends. Wow. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah, you're getting. Is there any damage resistances that I'm forgetting? Um, we don't know that anything we, about that, her that resistance. We, that you know, know nothing of. about her. Yeah. You know that she does not seem to have the same aversion to cold that her daughters seemed to. I'll try. That was mostly them. Yeah. I'll just try your average inflict wounds. All right. At a third level. Okay. Um, I will say before you do that, before you expend that slot, um, you get the vibe that she is a vampire and it will probably not do any damage. The, right. Okay. That, <laughs> by by things that I was forgetting, that would be yeah. That would be one of them. Thank mm. you. Does it look like the, she's taken any damage from what the, we've done the so far? Rule mechanics. Oh yeah. Okay. And but it has not broken her calm at all. And vampires are also chill with radiant damage. Um. Or was that? They're just... not immune to it or resistant to it. They take normal damage from it. Normal vampires would probably take extra damage from it, but you don't know if she's normal. She's special. <laughs> She a big bitch. We're nope, gonna sure. do a guiding bolt. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. Gonna get guiding bolted. Uh... Okay, you might want to move five feet back because yeah. you are. Yeah, I'm you're in her square, so that'd be disadvantage. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, gang. I'm crazy right now. It's okay. okay. Well, wild right. and crazy. Boy. New party member who dis. It's fine. Sometimes we need a little bit of crazy, you know? 
I got two hours of sleep last night. Oh my god. Oh boy. 25 to hit? Yeah, it'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then that is 5d6. I got that. And... Come on, I have five somewhere. Yes. Woo! That is 10, 13, 15, 18. Nice. Yes. All right. And she is glowing. OMG, sis. <laughs> You're glowing. <laughs> She just like flips her hair. It's radiant. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, all right. Any bonus actions or movement? I am going to. I don't think so. I guess I'll move back. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Then that will bring us to Bosric. I'm actually going to try and break free. Athletics check. All right. 23. All right, you are free from her grasp. Um, if I move, she's just going to try and hit me. So I can't do anything. So I'm stuck. And she's just going to grab me again, so I wasted it. She is going to try to grab you again. Does breaking the grapple count as an attack action the way grappling would? It is an action. Okay. Yeah. Full action um, yeah. Can I have it be my movement action? No, it has to be your action. Alright, fine. Um, so, she is going yeah, to try basically to Basically, I again. just... Yeah. Well, no, well, it's she good spends because a turn now she doesn't have advantage to hitting. hit you. Yeah. And she spends one of her attacks grabbing instead of hitting. Uh, so, uh, she will try to slash at you, Bosric, because you are her primary target. Uh, 27. Uh -oh. Well, there you go. I wasted a turn. <laughs> um, 11 slashing damage, have to 5 to both of you, and yes, you are grappled again. And then she's just going to keep wailing on you. Because the way she sees it, Eliminating you one daughters? at a time. I don't know. What? I said, was this worth killing the daughters? I don't know. You could have not come inside. Like, that was always an option. We did uh, have that choice, and we chose hit. not to do it. Hmm? Uh, so that is 13 slashing damage, have to 6 to both of you. Alrighty. And then Captain Chompy. Uh, wow. All right. Two 13s. It's not going to do it. So she does not get the bite. And that will give us to bring us to Galmus. All right. So, uh, just looking at her and looking how she keeps grappling him. I'm like, oh, you need to move away, big boy. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring again just a tr is it possible to use my attacks to break her grapple? No. No. Uh, because right. she's not just like holding him. She doesn't have him scruff like she did Zier. She has claws in his chest, like gripped into his flesh. Okay, that's what I was missing. That's yeah. what I was missing. Through my armor, yeah. Apparently. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't re quite reach her head. And he just starts swinging again, kind of at her neck. Um. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a 22. That'll hit. And Is that rolled with advantage? No. No, that was not rolled with advantage. Okay. Um, it's better than what I rolled the, the second time, so um, we're gonna keep that one. And that's gonna be seven, eight plus five, 13 more damage. All right. And then, uh, like, just hitting her in the neck, I'm just gonna kind of swing it in a figure eight and come at the other side of her neck. Um, so if okay. she's, whatever side she's holding him on, that's the side he's swinging at last. And as okay. it comes over, he just, again, says, uh, 
uh, my hammer find its mark and uh, that's uh, thir wait do I have advantage on all these or no just the first one oh okay well that's a 13 plus 9 so we had a 22 again that'll hit um, I was really hoping for bigger numbers because it makes me happy to see big numbers and um, when it does purchase I will be uh, dropping a level 2 into uh, divine smite but I'll roll that next okay um, that's going to be a 5, 6, plus 5. So that's 11. And then it's going to be... Uh, let's see here. 8, 6, 14, 19 radiant damage. All right. As I go, let go, you monstrous whore! <laughs> and I end my turn. All right. Uh, she will use her first legendary action to turn to you and say, but his vintage is so delicious. It reminds me of that Goliath. What was her name? I don't remember. I just remember how much she screamed like a wuss as I tore out her throat. Um. Bosric, that will connect. That is nine piercing, halved to four, and 17 necrotic, halved to eight. But that eight will reduce your max hit points. So I'm at... I don't know where I am anymore. It's raised and lost so many times. <laughs> All I know is she's going to kill me. <laughs> she's going to try. Clovis, it's your turn. Excellent. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry you're lost, because it's not stopping now. Um, Clovis is going to... Uh, use the um, cleric uh, optional channel divinity to gain a second level spell slot back. Okay. Uh, and is going to cast aid once more. Um, <laughs> which will be a plus five to Bosric, uh, myself, and I don't know that Zir's here, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I did, uh, no, because I still want him to, no, no. Uh, yeah, so myself, Bosric, and Quedon, uh, okay. and I am going to once again activate the Voice of Authority feature as I've casted a spell on an ally, uh, and I'm going to cast it on Bosric this time, and Bosric, you'll hear inside of your mind, I've dealt with eagles before. A sword in the sky is a sword in the eye. Um, that'll be a 26. And I will put my last um, uh, uh, spore power blast into it. Okay. All right, so that is 14 damage and seven there. All right. Okay. Um, she will use her last action to basically just clench her fist in your chest, Boz. So this is going to be an unarmed strike. Uh, but, uh, the armor is holding, so it doesn't get purchase. Zir. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I know this is the logical character choice, but I also feel like Clint is, 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 uh, is using this against something I've done in the past. Probably all the Age of Sigmar games I've won against him. <laughs> no, the only Age of Sigmar games you've played against my vampires have been in my favor, so this has nothing to do with that. I didn't say it wasn't for what vampires. The hell? I said it was in general. <laughs> I... Also, no, she's just a very focused lady. She doesn't like to share. 
I continue to stealth. If you want me to re-roll stealth, this isn't necessarily a hide because I'm going to come out from behind a thing. Um, you can maintain your stealth. Yeehaw. She seems very focused. Okay. I come up behind her. Okay. You beat her passive perception with that stealth by one, by the way, which is why you're able to be hidden. <laughs> um. Do I? Please do the thing. <laughs> Please do the thing. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Yeah, would it change Zir's mind if she looks at all of her dying companions? Yeah. yeah. One's already Boz's dead, another good. dying right now. Yeah, I mean... Boz's neck by now is probably a red ruin. <laughs> and she has her claws stuck in his chest. <laughs> I'd say the only reason she hasn't torn his throat out is because she wants to savor it. But I imagine that that's going to be her coup de gras. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. Um. Are you getting trolley problemed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do I play the character or do I save my friends? Um... I'm... It's up to you. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Austin, I can't handle how little of your face is in camera that it's just your eyes every once in a while. I'll just look up and I'll just see your eyes. It's like, ah! <laughs> like that, yeah. Creepy as hell. Dreadmaster, may I make a request? What's up? If Bodrick should die, I want the option to haunt Zir. <laughs> well, you don't... Okay, we'll see if you die permanently. I was about to say... Um, Death is impermanent in this realm. Is she armored in any way? Um, Where does she look most vulnerable? Her side. She does appear to be armored under her dress. There appears to be a thin layer of, like, bark armor. Oh, cool. You said her side? Yes. Has there been, like, tearing somewhere near there? Uh, you can kind of see um, where, like, it's it looks like sort of a corset. So, like, there's the area underneath the ribbing of the corset that's just, like, a little bit of an exposed area over her, like, kidney. Sure. Okay. Oh, the kidney. Okay. I gotta go for the kidney stab. The rogue special. I stab. Zero shakes. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Zir's going to stab. I'm going to... I apologize if I'm backseat gaming, but I just... I'm dying here. I'm like, going... I'm really dying. <laughs> I'm she might kill me for good. To... I'm going to stab. Okay. Are you using the But floor? I'm going to impose... Yes. I'm going okay. to impose disadvantage on myself, but because I get advantage due to our current setup it will just be a base roll yeah uh you need to move up five feet to your left to get advantage because bosric is currently grappled in the air so is not providing flanking true I will which is that. fine just i just want you to make sure you're positioned yeah there you go great so this will be a straight roll then without mm -hmm. advantage so i would not be sneak attacking per se plus this makes okay. sense because it's at her side so yeah i'd be on this side um, you don't need advantage if there's an ally within five feet, which there is. So you will get sneak attack. Oh, lovely. Okay. But I won't get advantage on the roll because Zir is visibly shaking. Mm -hmm. Well. Um, in that shake, you, uh, you hit what you thought was bark armor, but as the thorn hits it, all of the natural elements melt away and you see that it is actually a corset made of crystal. Oh, neat. Does it look like the crystal that was created when the sister died? Okay. Yep. Very interesting. 
how do I die? <laughs> or maybe okay. not. They're probably probably a few more turns before I'm. All right. Will that be I've all? I've got so much feeling. Zir, my dear. It's not going to matter if she wears my hit point t total down. Yeah. Um. Do you still heal him, though? Can you just, like, run? <laughs> this, this makes me think of that no. YouTube video, like, healing spell, ah! Healing spell, ah! Healing spell, <laughs> let me die, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's all. Okay, cool. Uh, Queden. So there's not much I can do, is there? I don't know. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> I don't know. What's her last? I mean, how can I ask what his last his point maximum was without being metagamey? <laughs> um. <laughs> Just make an Elmo's World RPG where the final boss is Rocco. It's just a big stone golem. Dude. <laughs> uh, Rocco's just a rock! He's not a mouse! He's not nothing! <laughs> I know you had that voice in your back pocket. Um, I mean... <laughs> what a, what, Looking at the situation in front of me, just grab, let go, grab, let go, damage, damage, bite, bite, damage. Is heal? I mean, how is Seltradal looking? Um, not bloodied. She is bleeding from multiple wounds. She has burns on multiple parts of her body that appear to be curing themselves whenever she takes another turn. Um, but she has taken visible damage. She is not at 100%. I don't like that answer. Um. I think Whedon's... I think Queden's move would be to heal his friend. Okay. I'm gonna keep you around for one round longer. Yeah, I think I'm up to like 27 max. Yeah. That sounds right. You're getting another second level. Considering how much damage Galnus is doing, he, keeping her her energy focused on Boz might actually be the best thing you could do. Like, I know it sucks for <laughs> Boz, yeah. but but Boz is doing what Boz should be doing. He's tanking, and he's doing it very well. That's just 12 to you, Boz, but I did my best. So, yeah, not and not the full, but yeah. Okay. It's cool. Just look on the bright side. She could have hit you with a chill touch, and then you wouldn't be healing at all. That's true. Bosric! You're up, my friends. There are uh, talons in your chest. Also, guys, keep in mind that you do get plus five to your saving throws while you're uh, within range of me. Just a heads up. Yep. Because he is a paladin. Paladin. P.L. How long also, does aid last, by the way? Is that forever? When you cast aid earlier? Would that aid? be gone by now? Yeah. Nope. Last an hour. So you still have yours. Great. 23? That will hit. He is also a custom sub boss. He is a paladin of the forge. God, I'm rolling the garbage. All right. Nat 20. Nice. Um, she's out of uh, legendary action, so that'll that'll connect. And I continue to just just look at her glassy eye. Just so eleven plus twenty. Yeah, okay. I haven't. I'm not saying a word. I'm just taking it. All right. Uh, she will start her turn with her bite this time. Um, she is starting to look a little rough now. And Zir, since you're the only one who saw the armor, you can see that it's starting to crack. Um, but yep, she'll start with her bite.
Uh, that will connect. It'll add a what? 23. Of course. Uh, 12 piercing reduced to 6. 10 necrotic reduced to 5. And a 5 reduction of your max armor class. You mean hit points? Hit points, yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm at 16 <clears throat> down to uh, 22 max. Okay. Sorry, what was that damage? Uh, 6 and 5, so 11 total. Okay. Gotcha. Um, all right. Uh, she will tighten her grip in your chest just because she's trying to take you down. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. And that is 10 slashing damage reduced to 5. Okay, down to 11. All right. And she will give you the last one she can. Um, I'm not... I don't like your chances. That is a natural 20. No, it's not. Okay, then it's a hit. I um, love you coming into free. So that is no, 18 have, slashing uh, damage reduced to 9. Alright. Down to 2. Alright. Next hit points, uh, 22. I'm not too far off, bud. So that means you got a healing now because if she kill if she does anything to me now, it's gonna probably go past relentless endurance. Mm. She just has to do twenty like twenty three or twenty five to kill me permanently. All right, Earths um, are hoisting you up like support beams right now, dude. This is insane. So what? What your max HP is twenty two? I think. Then yes, she would have to do. She would basically have to do fifty damage in a single hit, which she cannot do. So she cannot perma kill you. She could drop you to unconsciousness. I'm um, so. All right, but Galnus, you're up. So, um, see that? Yeah. So seeing just the absolute pain he's in, and then seeing Zier being like, "I don't know if I want to." Um, he's gonna swing around as hard as he can and slam it his hammer directly into her chest. I mean, like, let him go! And, uh, that's gonna be... Okay, so that's gonna be a 21. 12 plus 9. Hit. And I am gonna... I like that you have exactly a 50% chance to hit her. Yeah, it's basically... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. And then, uh, again, I'm going to, um, blow through a second level spell slot okay. for the radiant damage. And that's okay. gonna be... Let me get this going here. It's going to be 8, 14. It's going to be 20 radiant damage. Okay. How much was it for the hit? Okay. I uh, did not roll that one, so we should probably roll that one. I mean, I'm fine with your hammer doing no damage. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Vetoed. Um, that's going to be... <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, wow. That's a uh, 3, 4, because I get the extra damage from my weapon, plus 5, 9. So not 9? Not All right. 9! Oh. Okay. And then um, looking Gregor's at here. Zier <laughs> as I turn around and do it again, just trying to push her away from him and be like, do something, child! And I'll... Um... Well, that'll oh, no, be a nat 20, so word. it doesn't matter. <laughs> unless it's not. You got not. a nat 20? Yeah, that's why I'm like, it's a nat 20. Unless it's not, I can't be excited. It's not. She, she <laughs> will spend her legendary action to make it a regular hit. All right, well then... Um, and Chuck. you notice Zier because you now get to see what this looks like. When that hit connects, you can see that it hit a vital area, but you see the crystals kind of glisten momentarily, and they seem to absorb the impact. Um, so that's going to be 7 plus 1, 8 plus 5. So it's 13 on the hit. And then with my right. last um, spell level 2 spell slot, I'm going to do 6 plus 8, 14 plus 7. So 21 uh, radiant damage. All right, she's looking really rough now. And then, uh, that's, I've already said what I'm going to say, so he's just going to take up a defensive position again. Okay. Um, she will use her final legendary action to attempt to bite Bosric. She will connect. Bosric, that is 14 piercing, reduced to 7. Dead. And 10 necrotic, reduced to 5. Relentless endurance. So 10 necrotic, reduced to 5, yep. 
Um, and as Bosric's body falls unconscious, it doesn't take you to zero max HP, does it? No. Okay, so you are unconscious. She lets you go and then turns to Galnus, blood leaking down her mouth, and says, Choose the next one, dwarf. It won't be you. Relentless endurance. Relentless. I thought the rel the piercing damage dropped you to relentless endurance. Um, well, is it all implied at once, or because it would it would take me below zero, not halved, but it only takes my my minimum hit points to fifteen. Okay. When she says so, pick the next one, so, I'm but, gonna. But I guess it'll it'll kick in on my next turn. So yeah. I'm I'm lying there. <laughs> With an accusing stare at Zir. Yeah, you're, you're. Well, you're still in her hand. If your if your relentless endurance takes you to one, you're just in her hand at one. Um, okay. So it, Im importantly, as Bosric does not go down, Clovis does, because I'm taking all that damage too. Uh, so, uh, you would see him go to a knee, try and catch himself with his spear and fail. And as he's slipping out of consciousness, he would look at Zier and say, It's got, it's actually got me on death saves, even though I hit Relentless Endurance. And then unconscious. Um, to her question of I which one's next, um, it won't be you, and he's just gonna smack his chest with his hammer and be like, why not? It's always been me. And he's going like this. He's actually showing his neck a little, like, but, uh, holding his hammer. All right, uh, but that will bring us to Clovis. Um, uh, rolling death saves. Oh, it took you down too, damn. Wait, uh, yeah, oh. I I took every hit the boss did. Oh, um, rolled a nineteen, so all right, successful you have on my one first. successful death save. Man, I've never seen Warning Bond quite work quite like that. I love it. No, it's it was great. Yeah, I am the shield. Uh, Zier. Shield did his job. Now I understand your your action to like catch him and then fall. I was like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. I have terrible news for you guys. Yes. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play this through. We got thirty minutes, but we'll, we'll see. Zir, you're up. What does that mean? You'll you see. ominous bastard. Okay. <laughs> um, Can I please have that on a t-shirt somewhere? It means you're responsible <laughs> for the TPK. I want That's that what on it my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the kindest thing anyone's ever said to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I have advantage because Galnus is still up and flanking. Yes. Fantastic. <sighs> Zira is going to train her eyes on the spot that is most vulnerable still in the side. And after, like, in fucking imprinting it to memory, she's going to close her eyes and just say in her mind, Aragoki, please. I can't. I. Please. <laughs> Um, you feel a gentle hand on your shoulder and a hand on your on your wrist, and you hear a very kind voice say, Let me help you, child. Okay. And All right. I strike with my eyes closed. Okay. You do have advantage because you are not striking by yourself anymore. Excellent. Didn't matter. I rolled a one to four. <laughs> My Jeez. blood is on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 13 for advantage. Okay. That will not quite do it. Thank you, my god. <laughs> You've only been my god for a short time, so <laughs> our connection is still forming. <laughs> Queen Can I actually look her in the eye and hold out my hand for the dagger? No. Stop. No. <laughs> no. You're right, I don't want it. Queen it. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta go heal my my unconscious brethren over here. Okay. Regular curing will get him up to where he needs to be, right? Yeah. Yes, regular <laughs> cure will get him conscious with however many hit points he has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. 
I got big hip pool, so please, as many as you can. Would I be got, nice. I got one third and one second. I'm gonna save the third in case something disastrous happens. Keep in mind, Valid. multiple people also have potions. Um, oh. and, and if DM allows, you can rifle through possessions. <laughs> <laughs> to I'm take giving... the potions off of those people to then administer I'm them. giving you my my greater healing, my friend. <gasps> All right. That's what I'm doing. I'm armored. 4d4 plus 8 healing. Wow. Yes. Who rolls? Um, I will let you decide amongst you. I think it should be Quedon. Because Quedon so is doing this as an act of love and generosity and kindness. Yes. I freaked out. I forgot I had my potion. A satyr never forgets. Thank Neither God. does a DM. A satyr also <laughs> can't stab anything. Correct. The satyr is doing her best, okay? She's trying. Listen, listen. My God, Let's she's trying. Just throw the knife in the air. It has a better chance of helping us than in this kid's hand. If, if it makes you feel better, Zir, the vampires that you guys fought tonight also rolled like shit all night. Oh, I don't feel the, bad like, at all. With the, like, one or two exceptions. No, I don't feel bad at all. You're good. It narratively makes many sense. No, I love it. <laughs> this dwarf's gonna leave the party because he's like, they don't plus have a eight? fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 40, 44 plus 8. Uh, you get 20, my friend. Flat to yeah. zero. <sighs> All right, Hell Clovis yeah. is conscious with 20 hit points. Nice. All right. That will bring us to the top of the lineup. <laughs> you like, you like, I've like force fed you a potion. <laughs> and I'm like looking down, and you, first thing you see is just the most distressed, like, <laughs> panicked fucking. <sighs> like, I've just gone into non speaking, and I'm just running back and forth between. <sighs> and I just like pat on the shoulder, and I take a, like, I take a step back. I'm um, gonna use. Use my own potion. All or, right. Uh, it only get me up to fifteen, but hey, fifteen's better than one. Yep, out of kill Hell range, yeah, baby. baby. That's what we're aiming for. Yeah, she's still gonna get me next turn. I gotta save me those spell slots. But. I'll do the only thing I can do. 22. Ah, uh, that'll hit. All right. She will take eight damage. Okay. And that'll definitely hit. It's an 18 on the die. That'll hit, yep. And by the way, Warding Bond is still active. Really? Because it is not a concentration spell. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, that's I like so that. So cool. We go down together and we go oh, back up together. No, hold on. <laughs> Never mind. It does not. The spell does end sure. if you drop to zero hit points. No, I'm pretty sure if you if you go out, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's fine. We'll be okay. Your unconscious self was <laughs> okay. still casting. Just on the floor. <laughs> um, will that be it for you, Buzzrick? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Uh, it is now Madame Seltradot's turn. You see those wounds closing up again as she kind of cracks her jaw back into place. Um, and she is just going to tight. She doesn't even say anything this time. She just tightens her hand in... Um, Bosric's chest. Queden, can you stop a natural 20? Yeah. Then you should, because otherwise Bosric is immediately dead. Yeah, I got I got two more in me. All right. Uh, so you will just take regular damage, uh, which is eight. All right, and down to seven. Okay. So um, I'm at death's door. And she will attempt to do it. No, she won't. She's not going to do that. She's going to bite you. What if she didn't? Uh, she did. Darn. 
Uh, what is your maximum hit point right now? 15. Your maximum is 15? As she bites into Bosric and deals 15 necrotic damage, dropping his hit point max to zero, Bosric drops to the ground. I would like I would like to become a ghost for zero. <laughs> I want to haunt her for the rest of the for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. If I if I may have that option. Because I would I prefer that you that. weren't dead unless you want to be. Yeah, I, thought, you said I, I thought that's permadeath. It's been, per, it is permadeath. In the in the term of like you immediately drop to zero hit points and fail all your death saves. The creature it's, under oh, the okay. the world yeah. might not let you die. Oh, okay. All right. I, I thought I thought that was game over. <laughs> no, it's just you are currently at zero. Well, yes, I'm going to slump to the ground, eyes open, staring accusingly at Zir. All right. She wipes her mouth and says, "Next," and she reaches for you, Clovis. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Clovis said, "All right." <laughs> I got some tricks up my sleeve. Don't worry. That is a 26 to hit. Um, so about those tricks, uh, I yeah. am still going to cast shield, okay. even though it will not stop me from taking damage this time. Okay. Um, so that is 13 slashing damage. Alrighty. Um, which I believe makes you unconscious again. Nope. I got oh, 20 great. hit points back. I'm at seven. Oh, you got 20 back. I, I got confused. Okay, well, then she just picks you up off the ground and just kind of shakes you to make sure you're awake. I am. But that that will be her turn. Galnus. Okay. All right, looking at um, Clo Clovis, I assume, is not looking very good. Seven hit points is not my best. And I, I assume say. that um, Quedon... I actually forgot your character name. Look at that. Wow. Um, Progress. Yeah. There you go. You're a people now. Um, and I take it Queden is down. No, I'm. I have not gotten hit. Oh, no, at all. Queen. Ever. Queen's been like juking and vibing over here. He's just like woo woo. I have not even been swung at. This yeah, they haven't even swung at it because Queen oh, is staying out um, of combat. Bosric is Bosric down and oh no, he's I'm completely dead. reduced to he's zero. Dead. Bosric is dead. Uh, Bosric is currently a puddle. Okay, um, I will call out, and I so I will just turn around, and I'm going to clasp my the back of my fist, holding my hammer, on um, Clovis, and I'm going to actually use my lay on hands um, for the full 35. Wowzers! Um, and okay. I'm going to say, yep. we might want to run between our damage and that worthless child. We need to leave now. He's so mean. I, <laughs> he he is not mean. He he does Agreed. not like am, people who. I would defend, but I'm dead. <laughs> the, the way the way see the thing is the way Bosric was looking at her and everything. It's like I'm like he, I was doing the same thing in her direction when I would hear like nothing happening in her direction, but everybody else is doing things. He's like, why did they bring a child? Like I know nothing about her other than yeah. there's a kid here that's not doing yeah. shit. Why did you do this? <laughs> Yeah, you gotcha. hear Quinn say, agreed, I can't keep you alive much longer. And so, uh, and then I'll just hold my shield in front of me and go, we must leave. Yep. It's the end of my turn, I have nothing else. It's, I've used right. my action, I can't attack. It is her uh, legendary action. She's going to try to grab you, Galnus. Okay. It's going to be hard, but she's going to try. Go for it. Nope, she missed. You're just too tiny. Clovis, you're up. Giggity. Okay. Uh, in As she's lifting me up, Clovis is going to put his hands around her arm uh, and through strain say, I saw the most beautiful city surrounded by gleaming walls. Its name is Stendar. Uh, and I'm casting aid on myself, uh, Galnus, since she seems interested now, and Zir. And I'm going to activate my ability, Voice of Authority, on Zir. 
And Zir, in your head, you will hear from Stendar in a voice that doesn't sound the way it has in the past. You are not of my flock, child, but I will absolve you all the same. Please help him. Um, you hear another voice say, Stand down, Stendar. I have the watch. Clovis, you hear that too. Okay. So uh, Zir, then, you have an attack with advantage. Yippee. I think on his <laughs> on his turn, Clovis will just kind of Goki. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah, Zir, this is well this is your free attack, Zir. Because the, it's this is before your turn. You get your free attack from his voice of authority. Nice! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. I get two chances. You sure do. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> this is going to be the one that does it. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's so exciting. Okay. Um, I will open my eyes. <laughs> I think Zira's literally had them closed this whole time. Um, and uh, I will look around for my siblings. Um, they are standing at your side. Um, holding the weapons that they had in life, looking to you for an order. We've never done this before. We Gwen steps forward. First time for everything, kid. Let's kick her ass. Okay. I love oh. how Queen's like, no! That wasn't with advantage. Hold on. Oh, I think that connects. <laughs> 18? That was what I needed, right? Before this, you needed a 20, but because you have specified every time you're aiming for her one unarmored part, an 18 is what you need. That yeah! is her natural armor class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so this is sneak attack. <laughs> it is! Yeah. Now we're going to get her one-winged angel form. Good God. <laughs> okay. There's your thorn. There's the poison. Um, I rolled a sneak. The sneak attack's not built in, is it? Oh, no, it is it built is. in. Excellent. Yeah. And then, of course, whales from the grave. Okay. Uh, and you had Gwen speak to me, yeah? Yeah. So it'll be Gwen. So, um, those of you who are still conscious see a tiefling come out of nowhere with a short sword and just jab it into the same spot. If that is okay with you. I do what? <laughs> That's perfect. All right. Okay. How's, how's she look? Not good. Does she seem like she's recognizing the coagulation situation happening? Yes. Does it look the, like that? The very stern look she has had this entire time fades from her face and she looks down to the wound and you see the crystals start to crack and shatter. Her armor is gone. Uh, and I will end my turn with my bonus action gaining a level two spell slot again. Okay. Um, she is going to use her last legendary action to attempt to bite you. Okay. Me? Or Clovis? No, uh, Clovis. Okay. Uh, she will crit. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, she won't. You got one more? All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, so that is 13 piercing. Okay. And 18 necrotic, reducing your hit point max by 18. Okay. And she will heal a little bit. Not all of that because the poison is starting to work, but a little bit. Nice. Zier, you're up. Nice. Um, I imagine the dagger is still in her, so I will just, similar to what she was doing with Boz, with just maintaining a hand and then just digging each time, just she'll twist. just twist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Still with advantage. Uh, the and... DC, the AC has lowered to 18 for everyone because she has no armor anymore. Um... Zir's gonna look at her crying <laughs> and just 
No one's ever made me have to do this before. I hate you. And um, she will twist. Okay. Still with advantage. Or I guess, well, how many, you can do sneak attack once per round or once per turn? Per once turn. per turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you okay. get sneak attack again, if you hit. Nice. Which you will. Natural 20, there you go, Zer! <laughs> wow! Oh, that's gonna be so much damage, because let's see, that's 10 is max damage on your dagger. Yep. Um, Sneak attack max damage is 18, so that's 28 max, plus an or, additional 2d6, 12. It'd be, more, it'd be more than 10, wouldn't it? Because it's 2d4 plus 6. Uh, the dagger is 1d4. Plus oh, it's six. One? Oh, it's one. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing dagger. max damage before you roll. Oh, I have it as two d four. Because I well, that's how much the poison does, or the poison does two d six. The poison is two d six. I have okay. I might have written it wrong because I have it as two d four plus six. Let me thorn. look. It's let me in look. the it's in the shornol, isn't it? I believe so. Believe yes. So. It's a plus two dagger. Uh, it's a plus two dagger that deals an additional two d six poison damage. So it's just one d four. Oh, okay. Whoops. Uh, but it's that's okay, oh, because I'm pretty sure that, let's see, 2d6, 12, your minimum damage is enough to kill her. Nice. So, Zir, I want you to dictate that for me. Holy um, shit. I'm going to cut the music for this. I also give you the option to let me do it if you want me to. I am going to let you do it in okay. the form of Haragoki, if you could. Okay. So, um, well, she, as... will look, she, I think, um, here's what I'll say is she will, she will kind of twist and I assume Gwen and everyone is kind of piling in as well. Um, uselessly, but not really to Zir's knowledge rather than have it be, uh, whales in the sense of, um, Gwen doing more damage, I'm going to do uh, mainlands in an attempt to heal Boz. Okay. Um, um, it doesn't go through, but... Yeah, so uh, mainland will run to Boz's, where Boz was, look to you and just shake. Yeah. Um, And as you look away and you pull the dagger out, um, you feel another hand on your uh, shoulder kind of just move you out of the way. Um, the rest of you who are conscious see what appears to be a hooded figure pull back the hood and you see a deer shake its head and antlers of vines and thorns grow out of his head. And he um, bends down and he rams his head into the wound and you see vines wrap around Seltradot and she falls to the ground coughing and drops you. Clovis. So two things happen, and we only have nine minutes, so I am going to have to do this kind of quickly. In the underground, Bosric. We can save that for next week if you want. We cannot, we because can't? something oh, okay. else is about to happen. Oh. <laughs> um, you come to consciousness, and you hear a voice say, Bosric? No. No, 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 no. This is far too early. No, we can't let you die until she's had time to play with you. And you must meet the Baron. And then you feel a hand on your chest as what? As someone taking the f your sister leans down and says, fight on, Bosric, and pushes you in the chest. And you will wake up conscious and at full hit points here. The second thing that's going to happen is not part of the scene, but just so you all know, take yourselves to level seven with the damage you currently have. Cool. Um, Galnus, I believe, is already level seven. I am. Yes. Um, the next thing that happens is as you walk away from the body of Seltradot, which collapsed again, wrapped in the vines, you hear a heartbeat. And it seems to reverberate through the whole room. You insolent, you 
children. I have had enough. And you start to hear cracking from the the coffin of vines that was Selchadot. Games! And Selchadot's form vanishes. In its place is a creature that can only be described as an anthropomorphized bat. And standing before you, you see the true face of Madame Selchadot. And that is where we're going to end this week's session. <laughs>